Right. How much sugar is in this shit? Um, 62 grams, which is 125% of your daily uh, recommended amount. That's a fucking lot. Yeah. I was like, maybe I'll drink the other one today. But no, I won't. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely not drinking it now. <laughs> I don't need that shit first thing in the morning. Hey, try having it at 8 a.m. That'll keep you perked up. Yeah, dude, your life sucks. Sure. Oh, my internet must have thought I was streaming, and now I have 700 ping. You're welcome. I'm actually still in bandwidth from You're your welcome. location. I'm actually still in bandwidth from You're your welcome. location. Um, I'm actually still in bandwidth. Is server up at all, or...? Yeah. Thank is, you for the uh, stick. Which one is? Is it France or Canada? Yeah. France. All right, I was about to say, that was not a yes or no question. Well, yeah, I just assumed you would know it was the same one we were on yesterday. All oh, shit. My bad. In it to get the kill. Come on. In it to get the kill. Come Hello, T-Rexer. How did your skiing trip go, buddy? Oh no, I put a slash in my tweet. I'm done for it. See, if you if you had Twitter blue, you wouldn't have made that. I'm not you would have had a minute that. to edit it. <laughs> the fuck is Twitter blue? It's a subscription to Twitter. Why would you pay for a shitty website? That's the point. You don't. Greetings. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the stream. We'll be starting up the first map shortly. I am now on the server. Hello, guys. Hello. Chief, can you do a first impression on my balls? Uh, could be better. Um... Oh wait, that was enough. Hey. Okay. Hello, Peak. <laughs> hello, right, Twitch chat. Yes, hello, Twitch chat. Hey, are you ready to... Hello. What's up, Glicks? Don't sound very enthusiastic. Fucking tired. Looks oh. Like the... Oh. Chief is... Hello, Chief. There we go. Oh, Put okay. the connect Chief information Chief. in the Who voice chat channel. Who is the robot voice? Oh, it's Clicks. I think. Yes, Hello, it is Clicks. Yes, it is me. Sorry, it has been a while. I put the connect information in the voice chat channel. Chief, do you just want to get started here? Uh, yeah. People can join in and we'll see the VOD regardless. Okay. Yeah. What, what map are we starting off with? This map is, um, it's called, <laughs> okay, well, he originally named it Diffusal, but he changed the name, and now it's Jonchki by Jack T. Uh, okay. <laughs> Brilliant. All right. Yes. This is definitely a Jack T layout, let me tell you. <laughs> I can tell. Oh, absolutely. Get my timer up so I know approximately how long to. Dude's out here speed running for some impressions. We don't got all day. All right. Just most of it. Come on. All right. Just to refresh everyone's memory, we are joined by Squidski, one of the other judges. We got Kale as color commentary, quote unquote. We have Slimic in chat, who will be doing a Texas speech, and we are now joined today <laughs> by uh, Clicks. I am also a judge. He's also a judge. <laughs> oh, okay, you left that part out. He's also a sponsor. Yeah, and our sponsor announcement. announcement, yes. So I want to I want to echo what Kale said. This is definitely a Jack T layout, and the way you can tell is because of... Especially towards, like, A and all of these routes. All of these routes are just, like, weird angles, and there's just, like, a bunch of cubbies and stuff, which is, like, the hallmark of that, I feel like. Also, random... Not that it's a uh, bad thing or anything. In elevation. That yep, yep. Not that it's a bad thing or anything, but it's just like so 
such a staple of that like i know it's <laughs> great i fucking love it <laughs> all right um i'm gonna start with a site oh it seems like that's a very really long path to a site like you have to run through mid basically that's not like you can get here without going through mid in some capacity um it's, weird. Looks like it's pretty easy to smoke though would you say this is a horizontal mid? Um, not really, because this whole side of the map is at a weird angle, so I would say it's just like a normal mid, but kind of offset, maybe. Um, looks like, depending on where they're standing, they would still be able to see you cross into A, so yeah, it looks like there's no way to get to A without uh, fighting that mid-ish area, but looks like once you do get in there... There's still kind of a lot of corners you have to play through, so it looks kind of hard to take A. Um, and especially, like, get the bomb down and stuff. Mid seems interesting, this mid area. I do quite like how this seems with these different entrances. Um, a lot of variables at play here at mid. A lot of different places you can be. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty. It seems to be pretty disconnected from B for the most part, where you've got two entrances and it looks like you also can't go through this mid entrance to be without like crossing through mid in two places so unless you go the outside route okay so then you've got two entrances to be after that so the pathing in some capacity seems like a um I just start. I'm, con I'm confused by some of it like i i understand it but it seems very very i don't, I don't know how i want to word it but it's like it feels I have long, no idea. but you also have to pass through mid to get to both of the sites. Uh, you don't have to pass through mid to get to both the sites if you go this outside route to B. Um, oh, I didn't see this one. Well, you yeah. still gonna... Alright, never mind. This is a T-path, right? I'm super... Then you have to fight these two, but... Looks like CTs could probably push some of these areas, too, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a little strange. It seems like the, the, um... The game... Like, the time is, like... Like, the encounter time's gonna be really short. Um, yeah. Chief, I don't know you, if you care, but your title still says day one. No. It's day two. This is day two on my title. I can't believe this. OPS has been okay. Um, One, okay, so where would I play the CTs? Let's see. So I do obviously one here, one here, it's two, one here, I guess, three, one. What's your best speed? Here, four, speed. and then one, five? Okay. It feels so weird. Like there's no dedicated it, it, mid player. Why not? I would put, I would put dedicated mid player. Yeah. No, I mean, like, I mean, like, there's no, like, two of your A players are basically playing mid, is what I'm saying. No, you would have a player here. Yeah. Why would this you is play a. a player on site if you can play up here? Because you could also cover these choke points here. You could do one here, and one here. Yeah, just have a dude sit up here. I'm really wondering how far CTs could actually push up mid. Because the route yeah. it takes just to get to the first choke points for mid for T's does seem a little convoluted. It's not mm -hmm. exactly straightforward compared to CTs yeah. who go straight into a squeaky, then ladder, then mid. Mm -hmm. The timing is going to matter a ton. Especially with yeah horizontal mid, how close and connected it is to a lot of the connectors and routes. CTs mm -hmm. could definitely spread out into some very interesting angles and areas. Yep. I am in agreement. It's mostly just uh, um, mid routing areas around it. The bomb sites themselves look fine. A lot of yeah, yeah, no, I, I. The the one thing I would potentially say, I agree. The bomb sites are pretty, pretty, uh, standard. Call there call we go. The First one part. of the day. Um, Starting off strong. Pretty standard for the most part, but um, the one thing that's probably going to matter a lot is. Whenever you're pushing around as a T, there's already a lot of corners everywhere to check. So 
that also has the effect of there's also corners to check when you get into sites, which could kill a lot of time trying to like clear out everything. But the rotation times seem pretty short as it is, so I'm curious how that would play. Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, this is weird. This boost here in front of B main. We're spamming a headshot angle right here. Yeah, that kind of blows. The way this boost is set up, like you could sit all the way back up on this wall and they actually can't see your head when they walk out the door. Oh, I feel like, I wonder if that's intentional or not. Yeah, if I close boost, the CT's It's pop, like a vertigo type thing. We have plenty of time to set that up too. But yeah, he's vertigo taking blows. an upper, but then again. Biggest headshot angle west side of the Mississippi. Yeah, I think time is good enough for CT's actually get up here and jump up here and they can, if they'd like to push. Kind of a close quarters area right here. They can definitely try Would to it be faster this. to take the ladder? You know what? There is a ladder, but I hate ladders. <laughs> Do parkour instead. It's cooler that way. No one cares about ladders or their feelings. All right, all right, understandable. Shit. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I have anything else really to say. I think a lot of it's going to just depend on the timings because mid is a big part of the map. It looks like. Yeah. Mid and timings are the big two factors. Both we'll fit each other. Yep. That's all I'm gonna say. Jack T map. And it's day two, I swear. No, it's just day one. We yeah, we're re we're really redoing our day one. Day one part two. Part two. All right, are we ready to uh, move on here? Let's go. Yep. All right. Um. This next map is Lab Z by Lion Doge. And so I'm going to read the description for you. Um, Gray box map built around destructible elements made for the Source Engine Discord Gray box Contest 2022. Red stuff can be destroyed with breach charges. Some smaller <laughs> red things such as crates can be shot or burned down without the use of breaching charges. And there are also funny grenade launchers. Uh, X's on the map tell you what can be destroyed. And hold on. Uh, dark blue things on the main map are grenade launchers that are lined up for common positions. The grenade launchers are very funny indeed. Grenade launcher, drop a grenade on the blue platform to launch it. So, for example, I would throw it on here, Yo. and then it would launch a grenade. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> no, you have to literally drop it. Uh, yep. What is my drop key? Oh. Fucking t-shirt cannon, bro. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, so the red things are only destructible with breach charges? Uh, the big- wait. Uh, red stuff can be destroyed with breach charges. Some smaller red things can only be destroyed- or they can be destroyed without. But yeah, the big just, red things, they have to be destroyed with breach charges. buy my breach charges real quick. Yeah. I have breach charges. Where did you get those? I mean, but can you buy them in a real match, is the question. No, but I'm assuming it gives them to you. Or you could pick them up, maybe. Oh wait, what? The crates oh, of physics. God. We are uh, what source with the fucking movable crates? Oh, I have recharges now. I think it's because I used mine. So I just one random player gets assigned a recharge or something. Potentially. I can't pick them up. So only see if these can get it. Thank you. Here, hold this. Here, hold this. You literally spawned with one. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought, and then he said he didn't. So I was like, what are you talking about? I didn't spawn with one. Probably... I don't know. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna look at the actual map now, that I understand the destructive elements, so... I'm too distracted. Okay. Where are these grenade launchers here, so you could throw flashes, smokes... What, one thing I'm curious about is, like... So, I assume the intent... They're supposed to be used for, like, smokes and flashes? So, uh, smokes, it makes sense to me, but, like, flashes, I feel like you could also just easily, just as easily throw them in the air. So I'm a bit curious, um, like, is the smoke position any good? Let's see. Uh, it seems there? like so. It went here. Oh, okay. Oh, it's like a, it's an already assigned. Okay, I see. Hmm. I wonder if that has issues with the radar and seeing people through it. That's... I don't know. I'm not going to worry too much about that right now. But yeah, okay. That's interesting. Oh. It's an interesting concept, but I think for some of these spots, it might lower the skill ceiling, I think. 
compared to just you know, um in or... in some ways yes um because I mean if you throw it I, I don't think flash is gonna do much because I think you could easily you just could look easily, where it's yeah. pointed and then throw the flashes but um smokes definitely um. But looking at the actual site, let's see if I can figure out what the site was uh, before these boxes all fell. Um, I'm sorry. Kale. Sorry. Okay, hi Kale. Um, uh, screenshot wanted to know who I was. So this looks like a pretty regular site, I guess. I, like without the destructible elements here, this is missing usually. So if you don't destroy that, then you've got to, you know, run around here and then you enter here. If you do that, there's a lot of corners to check. Um, and that cures a thing. Oh god, oh god, okay. Get launched to the sky. Get me out of here. So I figured out why I'm not able to get them. Because I spawn with the bomb, I can't hold breach charges. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so that means one out of the five twos will not spawn with breach charges. So... I mean, A looks... Like... Fine. The one, the one concern I have is like with this. So there's a wall right here initially. Um, it's like it's either gonna be destroyed or not be destroyed. You know. So like, if it's destroyed, you always know where they're gonna come from. Or like, if it's not destroyed, then you always know when they're gonna come from on A, right? Yeah, yeah, so it's easy. like, it's so that's that's kind of that's my initial concern. Is it's like pretty obvious what's happening. Um. And like, you know, you could have a CT player right here just watching this, and then once it's broken, swing to the left here and watch this. Um, that's, that's I, I guess that's how I feel about A for now. It seems... I like the idea, but I'm a bit skeptical about how it will actually work out. Um, let's see, mid. Um, pretty flat. Uh, there's an entrance there. There's some nothing, a few breakable yeah, elements. Just two different angles you could think of. Nothing... Nothing major to point out here, I don't feel. There's some cover. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's much to point out here. And then B has a lot more destructible elements. So, let's the see. So floor? there's a big destructible floor here. Um, which I think you can charge this. You want me to... Here, let me restart the game. Maybe. Oh, whoops. I meant to do that in the other one. RMP start in one. Oh, uh, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> you got it as soon as I restarted it. Okay, so feasibly you would. Okay. So then you would create new angles onto B. So my initial thought is that seems really hard to hold. <laughs> um. So like, where do you even play the CT? I guess like back here, like in this corner. I don't know. In here, maybe? I guess. It seems like not many options as a CT unless you, like, play up here. But then you're off the site and they could push in through lower. Ooh, I'm not sure about holding this one. This one seems... I feel like this is the opposite of the other one. The other one seemed really easy to hold, and this one seems like I don't even know how you would hold this. I also want to comment on one thing. I like the idea of using physics things, but movement is very whack on them. Like, I can't even move on these crates. Like, I, I can't control my movement, really. Yeah. yeah, CSGO does not really like physics objects that much. Um, and this kind of stuff is n not, like, optimized for usage. Uh, like, I can't even move. So, uh... Are you sure that's yeah. not your ping? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not. It's definitely fucked. Yeah, that's just how physics objects work in CSGO, unfortunately. And the Yonkies play. Um... But otherwise, um, I do, I do really like a lot of the ideas. Um... It is interesting that you're using, like, two... I guess, new ideas in conjunction. Um, the grenade launchers and the breakable things um so i'm interested to actually try this out but um i'm very skeptical of how some of this will work particularly b site um but i don't 
I don't think there's really much else I could say on it because it really all revolves around uh, those. I don't know. What do you? What do you have anything it's else? An, it's an interesting factor for the map. I think it does limit it in some regards. Like the bombsite floor becomes really hard to create areas where you feel comfortable to CT for playing. And again, <laughs> the great physics are very jank, especially since that a lot of this is taken up by these physics. Like this room is pretty small, and <laughs> a lot of this is already taken up by there. And then for a like you said, the door being a huge factor. Like if it's blown up, then you already know CTs aren't going to be the one to blow it up. They'll be just camping this one route. Like for a second player over here in main or whatever. It's not an exotic layout. It's the only interesting factor is just the physics things, and it doesn't create a scenario where a five v five match is really complemented by it. It creates a very fun, chaotic game, I would say. Mm -hmm. I'd say that's all I've got. Yeah. All right. Um, we can move on. Quoting just said "ew" when I said "hello." Classic like, British. Base? I'm offended. Based. Right. <laughs> this next map is Libra by Tok Tokrishi. I think that's how it's pronounced. Tokrishi. Mm -hmm. I'm loading in. There we go. I don't get why judges don't allow people to fix stuff like that. It's part of the deadline. We gave you a few months, and you know, I think these things kind of happen. What was the What was the question, question about fixing? It was about packing stuff back into your BSP. Yeah, I mean, I got that's some what. Responses in the chat. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, this is Libra by Tokrishi. This is a just looking at the radar. This is already a much simpler layout than a lot of what we've looked at. Um. So look at A. Um. Okay, so there's one entrance to A. Not a lot of cover on A. So not a lot of different places to play the CT. It looks like. Um. See, the bomb site's pretty big, so there's a lot of different places you could plant for. But I would assume you just plant like right here every time. Um. Maybe up here if you want to run all the way across the site. Yeah, it's not, but, it's not doing much more than just a corridor, like one entrance for T, mm -hmm. CT, long angle, simple bomb yeah. site. Maybe Looks pretty one dimensional otherwise. Let's look at. But you, to get to mid, you have to go through here. Okay, and mid is also pretty flat. It's not a. There is cover, but. Uh, there's a, like, it's in, it's spread out in this capacity, so that, like, it's very easy to, it looks like it's very easy to clear this, so if I'm at T, I'm running up here, it's like, bam, bam, like, I'm watching this, bam, you know, I clear this, bam, 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 and TT's, or, uh, TT's gets something bam, bam, so the, the one, the one <clears throat> thing is, this does have a direct sight line into B once you get up here, um, so you peek into B, and then you got like a revolving route to rotate into B sites, right. which is pretty small. But I think B is more suited, well suited for kind of taking because it's just right there. So then you just have this long path into B, and it looks like if you just get flashed, you're just gonna die. Um, because there's not really any cover, or not much at least. Um, so, one thing I'm noticing, and I think this is just a general good thing to look at, is, um, so if you think about where CTs would play on this map, so obviously you're going to have one on A, because there's a path into A, right? And then obviously you're going to have one on B, either watching from window or watching down here. Um, so that's already two of the main choke points cut off. So then you still have three CTs that you can distribute. So, I mean, if you just do two in mid, I don't really see... I don't really think Terrace could really get through mid. So then you still have an extra CT on top of that. Um, so my first, my first thing I'm noticing from this is it seems 
very underdeveloped for terrorists. They have like very few options, and it's very easy. Like if you do like a two-two-one split, you're always gonna run. You're almost always going to run into two CTs, and then even then, if they spot you at B long, it's so easy for a CT to rotate to B because you know top mid is connected to B, so it's very easy. Like you'll almost always be playing against two CTs no matter where you go. Um, you can't really catch them off guard anywhere. Yeah, it's everything is like so favorable for CTs. Uh, you'd be forced mm -hmm. to kind of just push down and force yourself through a meat grinder to rail just to advance anywhere as a T. And then this uh, this vent here in mid only only seems like it makes it even easier for CTs to hold. You just, you just your teammates sitting right here, you just get a boost and you just spam right into A. Like, yeah. Or you just molly even like that's That'll block up half the site. Um, so yeah, it, it seems like I I can't see how you would really play this as a terrorist. I feel like there needs to be like two more routes almost, or at least like side routes and, and some like a lot more cover, especially at B long. But I'm not really sure what else because it just seems under underdeveloped for terrorists. Yeah, I said it's pretty. Easy to comprehend how this is gonna play out. That's, uh, yeah, that's what you said. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. <clears throat> All right. Um, do you have anything else we want to call out here? Uh, I don't think so. I think this is a this is a pretty simple for the most part map. So I think there's not too much to say about it. I agree. Cool. All right. Get moving. So true, bestie. Uh, so true, bestie. So true. So true. So true. All right. Uh, this next map is Limestone by Luki Vald. Limestone. All right. It is in the description is quarry themed level. And that is the whole thing. All right. I'm so it is a this. quarry themed level. If this isn't a one to one ripoff of the Modern Warfare 2 map, I'm not playing. It's not, unfortunately. I see some cubes. That is yeah, that's the limestone. I don't know, dude. It looks pretty gray to me. All right. Um, I remember I ran around this before, and I and I remember this seemed like a very interesting um, because like you can see the theme in this, and it's actually a really smart theme because you know that if you've seen quarries like this, the the bricks are actually like cubes like this, right? Yeah. That's so actually a really good. Um, usage of like theme for a Cisco map, I feel like. Yeah, this if you is can't cool. add the cubes to your theme, use the cubes from your theme. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so A site is. Okay, oh, this is playable, okay. Wait, what? Oh my so god. So there's like almost. Eh, it's still, it's still effectively two entrances, but mm -hmm. this, but this balcony does. Is this. Can you just get up here? Yeah, okay. So the balcony does immediately make it a lot harder to hold, I feel like. Um, I just have to worry about people coming from up there, and you can't just, like, hold this. My so worry as like, a CT would be, if it's smoked, can they see over it? And I think they can. Unless you play, like, close right here, but even then, like, it seems like that could create some awkward scenarios. Um, so Dang. that's 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 almost already two and a half entrances, I feel like. Where's the other half? Is it through the middle? Oh, the, I'm, I'm thinking, like, the balcony is, like, a half of an entrance because you can't really watch them from the same place. You almost have to like. It creates like, a it, different it's, angle into the bomb site, but they can't advance any more than that. And I think CTs do oh, have. A no, bit you're of right. Fallback. You're right. They, you're right. They can't, but it does limit where you can play as a CT a lot yeah. because, like, previously, you know, you could play like right here and watch this, but like, oh, people could also come from up there, right? Or like, same with like right here, almost, or like right here. Like, my my point was more like it limits a lot that you where you can actually play from. Um, it seems to at least. Somebody says that A isn't really C or isn't T sided. So. Well, um, I mean that's not. I wasn't necessarily saying it was. I was just because I was saying there's like, like it just two, makes it harder, which is different. Yeah, which isn't a yeah. problem. And I was also saying that there there's like at least two entrances here, which isn't a problem if the other parts of the map are you know simpler to hold. Like mm -hmm, it doesn't yeah. it doesn't mean that A is. Like, it makes it overpowered or anything, because it really depends on the map as a whole and what that looks like. So, um, mid looks... that It's a shorter mid, definitely. Um, and it looks like C CTs have two levels. 
Okay. Yeah. You can see pretty far into the A connector, I feel like. Oh, well, that's a really long sight line. Yeah. Oh, that's the sight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, if that angle is just slightly different. So can T's come from? Okay, T's can come from here. Oh, oh and they can watch this lower part. Uh, it's kind of Oof. strange because the cons are actually decently separated from the bomb site, so you don't feel like, unless it's delayed, of course, that CTs can instantly push a con, travel mid. So I feel like I would never want to play lower as a CT, right? Because you can just T's can get up here, right? So I feel like I'd almost always want to play upper here. Um, cause then you could like. That almost reminds me of the mid of Sub Zero, but the uh, teams are switched. Yeah, a little kind bit. Kind of. Okay, I'm gonna look at B now, cause I'm really curious. Okay, this is a drop down. Is there a way back up here? Oh, there's a ladder here. Okay. So again, uh, kind of like an elevated position. It doesn't give you any advancement, but gives you kind of a different angle. Okay, so this this looks a lot easier for CTs to hold. Yeah, um, for sure. Because my, my first instinct is because you have all all this cover you can play around and like. Depending have on the to timings, you might be able to get up here, even. I mean, look how much depth CTs have behind the pump site. From, they have a lot of areas you can just kind of maneuver around. From what I'm from what I'm seeing, the only place you can really plant that isn't in view of a balcony is this corner right here. There's also the um, smoke plant default strat. Yeah, there, there's a smoke, obviously, and there's always that, but... But yeah, this definitely seems a little bit harder for these. Yeah. Um... I feel like, yeah, okay. I feel like this is. This this seems to me like my my first guess is this seems like a pretty standard two one two map. Um, how I would distribute CTs. Um. Yeah, I mean, I would say I would probably put like two people B, um, just because like there are, there are two places kind of, but also I feel like if you only had one CT, they could easily just like wrap you from either side. Mm -hmm. Um. And I think one person can watch mid because if you're sitting in the balcony in mid, you can kind of watch both places um, they can come from. And then two on A. Um, one could either like sit in the mid connector or they could like focus the balcony. Okay. So yeah, that, that does change things. Um, you were saying earlier that A is not really T sided, and that does make sense because they can't cross mid without going through the CT in mid. So mm -hmm. yeah, that does make sense. So. I think this is pretty, in my eyes, clearly a 2-1-2 map, or at least initially. Um, I do like the sites, though. They feel pretty cool. Um, I, yeah, I really least, do like the yeah, sites. I like it. I think this yeah. works as a map. I'll let you talk for a little bit, Chief, because I talked for a while. <laughs> uh, my more, more of my point, which is maybe slightly more optimistic than Squidski, I'm not too sure, is that... I wasn't being pessimistic. <laughs> is that there always is a... It's essentially, you could say two entrances, it's just two different ways to kind of start looking at the site, but you're never getting the full access to it until you actually push the main part of the site. And CTs do always have a bit of a fallback option, they always have different areas to play back. So they have the option of being more aggressive and trying one of the uh, two routes that CTs are going to push from, which might have to cause them to use their own utility. Or so I think TS will be using it. So you have the more aggressive option to peek there, or you can play safer and play these kind of back areas and have the TS come to you. But you're giving up some of the access to the bomb sites. And I believe they do have a plan for them. They do. So they do have kind of like this little area right here. They can try to retreat back up here. So I think it's kind of I think it's a pretty fair fight for both teams how they want to advance to the site. Whether they want to play it aggressively or defensively. Same thing with B. I think B actually gives CTs a little bit more options, or safer options, I'd say, because they do get this longer route, which can be smoked, I checked. And then if you want to kind of cut off both of this area and the connector right here, you can have smoke right here. So, same thing up on upper, you can kind of check there, or if you want to use the utility there and advance pretty quickly. Bomb is very close, I'd say. So I feel like a quick plant is also very doable, but the only way to get back up is kind of going up a ladder, so it's a bit hard, or not hard, I'd say it's a bit hard for T's to commit to that, so I think it's better for them just to try to take the full site. But like I said, CTs do have a lot of fullback options here. They do have a lot of area and space to maneuver around. So I want to say that it does feel very fair for both teams how they want to play the site. 
It's kind of interesting. Um, I can't tell for certain, but I kind of agree with Squidski. The lower part, unless you're trying to like rotate in between each of these kind of two entrances, which uh, maybe not. I don't know. Let's rotate all the way back here. Yeah, okay, maybe not. You probably just want to commit to one and play it, because T's get its upper, and they, they can easily just run through that connector, and they got this one right here. Yeah, this feels very quick to just kind of commit and rush to one of the sites, or one of the connectors, because it's yeah, easy just up, upper, drop down, from in there. And like I mentioned earlier, the cons are a little bit separated from the uh, bomb site. You're not going to get instant access, because the CTs would have to push all the way up here, kind of go through here, and you're getting a little bit close to the, the T-route anyway. But then you have to come all the way through here, just get a peek at mid. Same thing of a site. If you're coming all the way up here, then you got to go all the way back through here. To get a bit of a long angle, but I don't think that matters. So I think mid will be the interesting one to play. I do feel pretty confident that both bomb sites will be pretty fair fights. But mm -hmm. it's a very interesting map. I like it. I like the theme and how you're utilizing a lot of the cover and areas around it. It's perfect for great box mm -hmm. too, because you're literally making boxes. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting one. I like it. And it's all right. Uh, all right, we've been on this for nine minutes. So let's move on to the next one. Um, uh, time loss. Oh my god. Time loss. All right. Um, this next one is Max Q by Blue. Nice. Sponsored by Nvidia. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> no, we already agreed. We're sponsored by uh, Pepsi, whatever the fuck this is. Nitro, Nitro Pepsi. 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 I'm sponsored. By, I wish what? Okay. Let's pull up. Wait, what's that see? Yo, there's planets. Blood. Um. Any fun facts about the map? It is the point of maximum pre Okay, so max Q is the point of it's the point of maximum pressure experienced by a spaceship while exiting a planet's atmosphere. This map is set in the new future where new age terrorists threaten to destroy the spaceport if space industries don't focus on Earth's starving population. There are two hidden props on this map. But they're out of the map though, right? They're like in this like a secret room. I think so. Okay. I'm not too worried about that. At least as of right now. Alright, um, Just noticing right off the bat, A site is very far. I'd say. CTs have to get through. Yeah, a lot you gotta of run through a lot site. of. You gotta run through a lot of map on on both sides really to get to. Yeah, this to is a. a full commitment route right here. Would you guys say this is like a split mid or A just closer or mids just closer to A site? Uh, there's like two mids. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Huh. Yeah. Okay, I'm a. What does A actually look like? Okay, so. That's A up there, okay. So there's a lot of cover and a lot of different places to hide from what I'm looking at. Um, oh wow. Looks like there's so all too much going on here. There's quite yeah, a bit like, a lot. There's a lot of different um, paths everywhere. And it's like, I'm trying to figure out where feasibly people would actually be. And it's like, I'm not really sure. An upper and a lower that can kind of advance through. Kind of so through this and this. the thing, the, the thing I'm immediately noticing here is you can't smoke this at all. Um, you could throw a smoke here, but this lower part is still completely exposed. Um, so yeah, even if you smoke there, this upper part is still open. Are you Which you can still see over here. CTs or Ts in that situation. Um, I would well. The th so both sides really because so for ct you can't smoke where t's will come from because mm -hmm. they could come from too many places and for t's there's so many corners to check like ct's could be hiding in yeah, any think, one of these corners i think it might in a way balance itself out if not be a little bit ct sided i think it's just a little too chaotic because yeah like Switzky said even for getting past all of this you're probably up to here you're still checking angles you're still trying to clear out the sites even when you're on the bomb site, you still have like this giant open area that CTs have an easy retreat option for. Easy like 
angles to check while rotating into the bump sites. I think it's just too chaotic. I know you're saying that for both teams it could be a struggle, so therefore it could somehow balance itself out. I think it's just too much for teams to you know, try to commit to while heading to the bump site. What did that bounce off? What? Never mind me. Alright. <laughs> so for mid, um so it looks like neither of these is particularly like It's all connected too, so I, CTs can switch. So these. I so I think I think this is meant to be the main mid here. Um because of the CT entrance. Um That's a lot. Okay. Got the ramp right here. Yeah, mid is just I think there's just way too much to it. Especially how it's just right connected to this other mid route. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. <clears throat> and you basically have to take it anyway because you can just you can basically hold the B rush too. Assuming the timing I mean the timings both buy zones are super far, so it's really hard to tell. It's, both teams have a long ways to go, but let's see here. This connects up. Oh, have you guys seen this me. unbreakable window over here? Yeah? Oh, I can bug with hope. Does it? Wait, is this play like... CTs what the fuck? That's a weird thing, I guess. Okay, so I would probably play. I would honestly want to play two CTs on A because. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah. Um. I'd have probably one at least one CT here. Though the, the CTs at A could come over and help if needed. Um, and then I'd want like a CT here, I guess, um, or like here. The thing and is, then one, though, how, I, mean, I guess that actually almost does work. How quickly can a CT get into this area over here? Oh, wait, you can't really. Yeah, you either have to boost on A or walk like all the way through B site and pass B main, which is kind of strange. Oh, you can definitely make that jump. Uh, what jump are you at? Oh, Maybe. This one? Yeah. I think she doesn't get quite far into two. KZ Master. But yeah, like. But even, even that I player think... there could be here, but then that allows them to flank. Yeah. I, I feel like in, in theory it's pretty easy to plan out, but I feel like in practice it's not going to be that easy. Mm -hmm. um, especially if there's flashes flying everywhere. Because um, I feel like if I flash that, that'll go. Yeah, that'll just covered all of mid, so... Yeah, I'm really not sure, to be honest. I think that's just way too complex, there's just too many parts going for it, and there's just... I think the timings are also it, it, really long for a lot of these it, areas. It, it, yeah, it seems that way initially, definitely. But it's got a rocket ship. It does have a rocket ship. It does have a rocket ship. Or half of one. It's missing its top. You can basically sit in your spawn and hold B site though, that's kinda interesting. <laughs> yeah, there's so many parts to check for A site, so many parts to check for B site, all these little areas right here. CTs have all the options in the world to check or to uh, utilize. It's just it's too much for T's to deal with. It just needs to be simplified and T's just need to have some better options while engaging the site. Or maybe not even options, probably just CTs need less options, I don't know. I'll say one thing before we move on, probably. I think it, it seems like a lot of the map isn't um, almost, like, streamlined. So it's, like, from what I'm looking at, at least, this almost seems like a case of almost too many options to where, like, it, like a lot of these places seem really redundant and yeah. potentially not even needed. And that's just my, that's just what I'm getting at from looking at this without playing it. Agreed. I think that's it, though. That's all I got. All right. Find the prop room. No. I don't want to. All right. Um. This next map is Mick or Mitch. I don't know. It's probably. It's probably I don't know if it's German or just Mich or Michigan. It's Mich uh, uh, I don't know Michigan. It's called, Short for yeah. Michigan. Yep. Yep. Kettle. Um. Okay. So this is by 192 mm. Ah, first crash of the day. Congrats, Chief. Beast. 
I did not crash. Look at you. This is the layout. I'm going to wait for Chief before I run around it. How polite. I will not. <laughs> That's okay. At first glance, it seems like you gotta travel quite a bit of a way to get to the sites as a team. Also, this T, or this T, this mid, like, doesn't exist, but it does. It's just very small. It's almost like two connectors smashed together. Oh my god, it has chickens, it automatically should win. Can't believe Michigan crashed me like that. Alright. Alright, um. So he says there's no mid in this map, but there are two mid like areas that protect alternate pathways into the site. Um, okay, so this is like the mid like area. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. It's like two connectors in a way. This is the strongest normal map I've ever seen. Have you All seen right. my models lately? Yes. <laughs> Chief's not going to change the name on the stream because he already changed it. Twitch just sucks. Yep, this is day two, but Twitch hates me. So, can you... Okay, so you can smoke this, but that does allow them to get all the way up. Looks like you can't smoke it any earlier than that, and... Well... Actually, can you... Yeah, you could smoke this. You could also molly it too. That does take that does take two smokes though, and it looks like and you can't really smoke it any earlier than that unless you like throw it all the way up there. But even then, that's going to leave gaps. Eh, not really. So that's that's going to really depend on how the timing works out. Um, so if you have to play on site, I'm kind of worried for actually blocking rushes. Oh, you can smoke scary. else from spawn. Anyway, what does the T approach look like? Oh wow. T's start really far back. Mm hmm. That's what I was saying before. Okay, so then you go to B. Eh. Yeah, it's not as far back as I thought it would be. It does look like, though, once you actually like drop down here, it does seem a little bit. The pathing is kind of weird to actually get back up here because not only do you have to like back up to the specific staircase, but you have to like basically peek out these windows as well. Seems a bit odd. Um, so if I'm just, if I'm T and I'm running up to this mid area, right? Where does this actually take me? Okay, so this takes me to like outside B, and then this gives me another entrance to B. So I have to fight CTs there. Do a great engagement with this close mid right here, but then you yep. can get a sequence. Okay, what if I go towards A? Okay. So the, Give me two paths. Okay, so this is like the mid-ish A thing. This has a window that I can jump up. Um. And then A site's very flat, it looks like. Um. So we have like three three potential T entrances in A, but. This is this is free for, yeah okay. So it's supposed to be on the a scale of to get... one to standard. What standard would you call this map? Um, the sites themselves are pretty standard, but the pathing is definitely not. Yeah, I would agree. Um, where would I even play CTs here? Um, I wonder if you would be aggressive with a the three entrances, even if the, uh, one of them is considered like a mid kind of fight thing. Well. Push the thing with one of them is you'd have to at least probably be facing this CT that's here. If the timing works out, you have to be facing the CT in this window. Um, yeah. And even if you push through, you still have to fight potentially a CT rotator, so... I would say maybe 3A to B, with one of the Bs being that kind of mid-round, because, again, you have completely split yeah. I don't know. No, I, I, I'm, I'm agreeing for the most part. I think you would want to... Well, you can have a CT play here too. Yeah, so I'd still want like three A two B. That is that does leave B main as a big question mark for me because I'm still worried about 
put like trying to actually block rushes because of this little house right here. This seems like this could throw a big wrench into things, um, depending on how the timing works out. Because as I was saying, if you smoke this, then the house is still yeah, open. Much closer like, you're getting jumped over the it, it does help that there's a lot of cover on the site, a lot of places for the CT to hide. So that does seem to help, but I am I'm a bit I'm a bit uh, curious how that actually works out. Um, yeah, because I'm not really sure. Chief, do you have anything to say about this specifically? No, I just think the uh, mid routes, I guess, or you want to call them alternate bombsite routes, are very interesting. Not sure how it, yeah. Basically, every point to a teammate was pretty much yeah. my kind of thought. Alright, then I guess it's time to I want to reiterate move. that this is still the strongest normal map I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I have seen stronger ones. Alright, um... Let us move on. Above one as well. Hmm. Alright, this is Monochrome by Boxtrot. There are no Ooh, fun facts truck. that I have for this map. He said better be monochrome. Well, that's what the title says. The title would never lie. I feel like I might crash. I mean, technically it's monochrome. Oh, I didn't crash. Oh, wait, I did. <laughs> Again? Yep. Didn't even make it three minutes. Jesus. This map is definitely monochrome. I uh, gotta give it that. Ah, uh, spoilers, come on. I feel like this is a fairly large map, too. I well, maybe not. not. Going to wait for Chief? Actually, it's probably not that big. No, it's not big. It's yeah. not all that big. At first glance, it looks a little big. All right. Let's get into this. Autochrome by box try. Okay. Let's figure this out. B seems pretty standard for the most part. Um, this like uh, this here is a brokeable window. I broke it by accident. Okay, just, it, was like, was, it, was, it was just like see-through glass. Yes. Okay. Um, oh, there's another one here. Anyway, mid is interesting. I like this like staircase thing going on at mid. It's like uh, yeah. ramp. There is like almost a second mid, which is interesting. I'd call that more of a B alternate path. Eh, yeah, kind of. What does A look like though? So if I'm running into A. So peek um, into A and fight first... up. Oh, these are right next to each other. Yeah, they're pretty close. What I could tell you, it's probably going to be like a 2A, 1 mid. One in that B mid alternate path, and then one on B site, sort of set up for the CTs. Let me think. You think yeah, I think you can. Covers. I think you can play one A because of they have to come through this entrance. Yeah. Honestly, outside of the initial choke point for the routes for both of these like little entrances, you probably either want to play behind this kind of like little house area because you have an area right near Con, so you could even play into Con a little bit. You can line kind of both of these up, but I'd say maybe a bit further back here. Because outside of engaging the initial choke point, you do not have many, uh, have like the cut around bomb sites and nothing else. It seems like this little back area might be more favorable. 
It's kind of strange because um, in both of like the connected areas, it feels like the person playing in that area can very quickly rotate between watching a site and or mid, which I think is cool. So, this, if I'm remembering correctly, this is one of the, I would say this is either the first map or one of the first maps we've had where it seems like I can think in my head of several different potential viable ways to set up CTs, and I feel like I can't think of any one that's particularly correct, at least like initially, so maybe that is the case whenever you actually play the map, but I feel like there are several CT setups I can think of that would actually probably work. I consider um, that a good thing, I feel like. Yeah, no, it is, but I don't know if that's actually the case, like that's just, it's hard to, it's either hard to gauge by running around it, or that is actually the case, which I don't know which one that is. But yeah, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of different CT setups you could do on this map. Um, For sure. The connectors really aid in that. Yeah, the connectors the connectors being so close really makes it so that you don't have to play somebody there, but it's also, it also seems viable to do that if you want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could initially just... I'm not sure if you would agree on this, but uh, like you said, you can have different ways to play CTs, but... Um, each bomb site could only have one initially just straight on the bomb site. Then you probably have your second yeah. player for each site kind of playing off that. You have this kind of mid-ish alternate route idea you play on. Uh, for A site, you probably play the cons very close by and very close to uh, the bomb site. You can easily cut off both of these entrances as they line up. So you can have this kind of, kind of playing between here and this closer uh, route for mid. Oh yeah, I agree. I think that is definitely a way to play it, but it also seems like you could also just do like on the site instead and then just quick mm -hmm. rotate. So Yeah. Yeah. I'd no. I'd say the pathing and everything like that for this map is, looks really good. It's just uh for me at the moment the bomb sites look kind of flat. There's not much going on there, it's just boxes, you know. The bomb sites do seem a little bit um Stay I don't on. I don't necessarily want to say plain, but like I can't immediately see Anything that jumps out at you. Yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing, though. No, it's not necessarily a bad thing. You just... It's not, I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that looks like... I have no idea how that element's gonna play, right? I think... Mm -hmm. In my head, it seems like a lot of that kind of mystery comes down to the rotations and, like... You know, the actual splits that you do. Um, like, I feel like a lot of the covers... It seems pretty easy to tell how you're going to play around all that yeah, and sure. that kind of stuff. Are there any other thoughts we have about this? I don't have anything. Hear the door. All right. Yeah. Good job, box mm. truck. I'd say that's an overall positive look at it. Okay. Um, this one is uh, Nald. And it is by uh, Bandar. Any fun facts? Uh, no. Unfortunate. So this is interesting already. Lots of long hallways. All right. Check out a. Looks like kind of a long path to a, a little bit. And eh, T's path is longer. Um. A little upper here. Okay, bomb site's not marked here. Yeah, they aren't on B either. I don't think. It's this. Okay. Yeah, but boostable. Oh, spot. that's really close to the choke point. You have a boost spot right here easily. You could easily just smoke that, clear this plant, back out, or even smoke right there, and there you go. Get the whole site smoked off and you can plant. Um, so there's two main entrances. Can you get up here from this side? That's no, you can't need a boost. You, still, you also need a boost from this side too. Okay, so... No, I, it's okay. I get it. I get it, Clicks. Thank you. Um, oh, this goes right into sight, though. Yeah. Huh. 
Okay, so my first thought on A is it seems very easy to just throw some smokes and get the plant, like, and then you, you just immediately block off all the site, so it looks really easy to do that. Um, what if you come from upper, though? That's like a perfect smoke, almost. Eh, no, actually, well, it you can still clear this back corner and then plant in the smoke. Um, so A looks pretty easy to get out of. There's not really a lot of different places to play around as a CT. I mean, like, you could play here and stuff, but, like... You're essentially playing just like... around the main bombsite cover here. There's not too much yeah. to it. It's more to the routes. Yeah, the, even... the, the thing is, the bombsite faces the T entrances, yeah. so it looks really easy for them to just get the plant without even clearing most of the site. Um, okay, how does mid work? Oh, this there's not clipped. Um, oh wow, this is a large height difference. This just looks like there's one entrance here. Okay, so they- oh, they enter mid through this. Wait, this is also- what is going on I'm so confused. The fastest <laughs> mid entrance is this route right here, which is... Okay, I'm gonna actually run to B and then knock, knock out by elimination all of these routes. Okay, so looks like a very long path to B. Okay, this is some interesting cover. Oh, you have to you have to face CT spawn to even get into B. Because if you, you smoke that, you could still get spotted by going here, unless you just ran through the first entrance. And then this looks impossible to retake. Is my first uh, it's like guess from looking at this. Yeah, it, I wouldn't say necessarily, but it feels more like a talked to play bomb side again. Compared to, because your engagement will probably be along this kind of meat grinder for row. So, my, my, my thing that I'm immediately noticing is there's only really two routes you can enter from, but even then, you still have to get into the bomb site, which there's three entrances to the bomb site, really. And one of them is on a, like a jump up, and you still have to face like all of these corners here. Um, so, yeah. But That's what is going on in mid? It's like... I assume this is a connector, but he's got this. I can't figure out who would control anything. CTs can also go through this. I think it is just another alternate uh, route for B. Because both CTs and Ts can kind of get through here. So I think a choke plant would occur in this kind of room right here. You would probably play it. Serve as a one, two, one, two, one, I guess? I don't even know where you would play all the CTs because... I could guess. Uh, you probably have one initially playing the choke plant right here. If not, you can retreat into the site. I have to play the closer border combat right here. There, I guess if you only play one there, point. it works. The second guy would probably be yeah. right here, because there is a choke point right here, just yeah. to get in here for free, so you probably need to cover this so they don't get the connector, otherwise your second guy would mm -hmm. be here. Third guy would be covering either this or this entrance to mid, because they can choose here or here. And then four and five would probably have to play A, because T's can get there so fast, you probably need to, to try to push more aggressively. Yeah, 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 okay, I was... In my head I was thinking you would probably play 2B, but no, I think you are right, you would hold, have one holding this choke point, but... Yeah, I don't know. You are probably right on that. Even with that kind of laid out, nothing feels great to play, to be honest. Just the quick engagement, like, CTs definitely have the dom more dominant angles for a bombsite A, but the Ts have the bombsite right here, and they can easily just... Their utility is so easy to use right here, and just back up, and they can play their routes easily. It doesn't feel that great to play. Then bombsite B, again, you have this very narrow corridor right here, and then you, for the actual bombsite, it's just a little rimmed off to the side, and you can just... This close range combat thing that G's can easily just trip up here, get a little look up there, like sweep the side easily, like right here. And then mid, I'm not 100% certain how to play, but it seems like the most normal route compared to everything else. But I think that's just the issue. Both bomb sites just do not feel great to play. Yep, I'm in agreement, at least from looking at it. That is all I got. Alright. Move on then.
All right, this next map is Nemi by Zaire. Uh, it's an Italian city of the same name. Oh, let me go. Uh, back to back crashes. Today's even worse. I did not crash. Oh. Why don't you take one for the team? Come on. No, thank you. Unbelievable. Any questions or comments to chat? Be happy to answer anything. Bad streaming. Bill said he made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. We pimpin'. Fuck yeah, dude. But what did you have to drink with it, huh? Um, water. You, you probably should have gotten some milk. Milk sounds like it would go good with a PB and J. All right, let's look at the map. All right. Okay, this is CT side. Okay. This poor text so... crushed. All right. So this is A. Okay, A is like. Almost in the middle of a hallway. Yeah, it really looks like little upper parts. Okay, so T's can come from here and from up there. Oh wow. Okay, so that balcony is on site. Yeah, but Ooh, considering the timing, CTs up can't have the time to push up that balcony too. My my point was more like holding on site seems very dangerous because they could just immediately dome yeah, you from the balcony. Well, yeah, that really just depends on the timings work, I guess, because the timings don't look that great for CTs, like, actually getting up there. But, I don't know, that could be different uh, when it's played, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, so, there's Is it not, and there's, like a, it's like, there's, like, a split mid. Okay, so, like, the top mid goes, like, into B and A, so, looks like the actual... I think it's pretty short to be honest. Um, like it's it's almost like two different angles. Like this is a this is like a medium angle, and like this is like a medium angle. This is actually kind of long, but um. Yeah, they both hook up right yeah. here. Okay, so it is a mid. It just splits. So that does mean if you so like a CT here and a CT there could make this really hard to push up. Um, well, let's see how B works. I don't know. You probably play. Which one of the cons? I don't know what you do with a CT with it. Because, yeah, that is a short engagement. Well, it does look like B has a lot more options to play around um, than A, at least my first instinct. Um, so, so it looks like you, you definitely want two CTs at B, at least is the vibe I'm getting from this. Um, I found the dispensary. So then I would also probably almost want two CTs at A, one watching the long path and one watching the balcony. Um, and then I guess you'd have one player that flips between either A mid or B mid, is what it seems like. Yeah, that's that's the curious part, because you definitely need two for each bomb site. So with a shorter mid, how comfortable does a CT feel playing this kind of shorter angle? Do you feel overwhelmed? Because well, you, you could easily uh, coordinate a T push for mm -hmm. mid, and mm -hmm. you don't have to definitely. go very hard to hook up through the cons. What's interesting to me is it, it really does seem like you could play either spot and you would be like almost just as effective either playing from B mid or A mid, which is very interesting to me. Because um, like you can cover the other path basically by playing at one of these. Um, I, I think B mid looks easier to play from and I think this is almost the more intended spot because you've got like some half body cover, you've got this corner here. But you could also, if you really wanted to, you could just play there as well, which is... The interesting yeah. part to this me. This definitely looks like the better option to play. The issue is, I think a con is definitely the more desirable route for T's because you're essentially oh, definitely. you're flanking the CTs when you get up into this area. Yeah, nearly. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you're, you're just getting like a slightly different route into bombside B for kind of what the T's have. 
Mm -hmm. I am I am really curious how the timings work out here because I feel like this gonna this balcony could play very differently depending on how that works. So I'm curious. Um, the other thing I'm curious about is how effective are smokes really here? So that's almost in the middle, maybe a little to the right, but like even then, it's hard to. I don't think it's possible to smoke this whole choke point here. So, so I guess what are your options here? But then they could play in the smoke. Um, I don't know. Is there? Really, I mean, because even if you can push into this, I don't really think there's any better places to smoke. Because like I think even this is. Yeah, there's still gaps. Uh, when you're done. Theory crafting there. Somebody in chat w wanted to know what you guys look for in a good map, like when judging. Well, right now, these are just first impressions, so we're not, like, judging if the maps are good from this stream. Um, generally, though, I like to look for, like, there's different ways that I could reasonably play it. It doesn't look like there's one specific way I have to play it. Um, there's a lot of options. Um, it's not just, you know, all flat, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's it's really hard to tell if it's actually, you know, good without playtesting it, so, yeah. All right. Same point here. I think a good balance of options where nothing seems over complex, but there are options for you to utilize. I guess a very initial start of things you would look for in a map. I think that's what, caught, that's what creates uh, diversity in how you play it, and that creates mm -hmm. kind of memorable layouts. So, so, so the, yeah, this does really interest me. Um, mm -hmm. It looks pretty good. It's interesting. I really want to try this out and see if it works. Same here. Alright. Is yeah, there anything else you guys... Today. Yeah. Mm. Uh, update. You might have seen it in chat. My PB&J is gone. I've consumed it. And I'm, I'm a little upset. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. I Which chat that is one. devastated by this development? They aren't because they haven't said shit about it. I think and I'm just so here mourning good. alone. All I right. need some support, guys. I am consuming gingerbread. I hate gingerbread. I haven't had and gingerbread coffee. In so long. All Coffee's right, this nasty. next map is Nora, and it is by. I have to look at two different sheets to see who it's by. This is by uh, Grum, Grumix one or no Grumix with a one instead of an I. Uh, hey. Unclipped stairs, I'm literally fine. Oops. Alright. This is a uh, wide map, to say the least. Wide like your mother. I said, wow. Oh, oh. <laughs> Cardinal Cinema Mapping. Click your stairs. Yes, you should click your stairs. Hashtag door. Very nice. First, round about here, about here, bomb sites are right there. What do you have to deal with as a team? Went to some doors. Did Squidski crash? Yeah, I'm yeah. just looking at myself. Uh -huh. I didn't want to look at it without Chief because there was nothing on Chief's screen if I would have been talking, mm. so it wouldn't really make any, it wouldn't mean anything. <laughs> So it's easy to actually get a peek into the CT entrance right there. So if they plant and get all the way back here, they can actually kind of, they can hold it, but CTs can also smoke that too. But T's have to deal with a double door. Is there one question mark entrance? Let's see, this is a mid connector. Yeah, I'd say this is mid, definitely. So if they have one entrance committing to the site, let's get this. This isn't really Oh, you can drop down, technically. That's interesting. If you smoke this right here, you just get a free drop down into the, I guess, connector. 
Unless, you know, there's a CT sitting right here, because this is very close range. But yeah, then you get a very nice window peek into into uh bombsite. Really? Really? Okay. I'm working with amateurs. <laughs> what happened? Uh, I made art and he doesn't like my artistic vision. I see. Let me look at B site. Why wait for that decal to despawn? Ahem, ahem. R, R underscore clear decal. Ahem, 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 yes. This is CT spawn, right? Yeah, that's CT spawn. So CT has this little doorway that you can play here. here. And the little car right there. Bump height's quite big. Ooh, yeah, you can play a lot of different ways for bump site. You can't really block this connector in any way. Because, I mean, you could smoke this, but... There's still this, and if you smoke this, I don't think they'll cover- No, it'll cover the whole thing, but there's some angles above that you could shoot, and then they could just run around this anyway. Are you guys aware of the props on the map? Um, I was looking. The main prop that I've noticed is this arch, but I, I mean, I guess this is almost technically a door frame, so I don't want to be too harsh on it. Um... Yeah, I mean, from what I've seen, it's been... Like, it's almost course. technically a door frame, so I'm not gonna worry too much about that. So, like, these are doors and a door frame, so it's like... It, you know, that was allowed mm -hmm. for the rules, mm -hmm. so I'm not gonna be too... Too, like... Ain't all about it. Yeah, because, like, it's... It, it technically follows, and it's, like, such a minor thing. Um... I'm not really sure what I want to say because it seems pretty pretty not streamlined in the sense that like it just seems like as a T like I could almost just do anything I want because there's like no punishment to doing anything I guess like looks like you just can easily get a bunch of map control and rotation routes and like b site looks you can just like run right into it looks like um there's like this mid you could almost run up um like for cts if so if you wanted to actually hold b you would need at least two cts definitely um may, maybe even three just because of how big this route is but let's i don't know let's say you put two at b and then I mean, you'd have one at mid, probably, so, like, one up here. Um, the connectors are so close to uh, their T-routes, because what I was saying earlier is that T's get this kind of upper area for free, so that's even another way to look into yeah. mid. One here. You can, have, like, a, you can have a CT here as well, but this is kind of a weird spot to play in. So, so I don't really know. Because I, I, I really feel like B is really hard to hold. You do have a lot of angles and depth to it, but yeah, they can kind of split up here and then they can start blowing. Or... You can't smoke it, really. Yeah. And your fallback options after this initial kind of like wide area are not amazing. You have to play around kind of like this wall right here. Mm -hmm. You can kind of try to come up from here. Otherwise, you have to play kind of the angles back here. So as a CC, you probably want to be more aggressive with how you hold this route because you don't want to lose kind of this flare route right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't really know what to say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I say it's kind of interesting mm -hmm. that you can kind of... It's a very narrow kind of way to go through. And you have some little cheap angles as a T regardless. But you kind of, kind of jump down and get into the main section of the bump site here. And water's not much cover to utilize. You definitely want to play with the height difference. You play close with like shotguns or SMGs right here. Outside of the initial longer angles with the rifles and snipers, for example. Yeah, you definitely want to CT perhaps holding this kind of window area by making sure they can't get through mid. Let's see. Yeah, you can't push that as a CT through mid, so you probably need 
Yeah, maybe just two on A side in general. Okay, two A, two B, one B. All right, that's all I got. All right. Okie dokie. Uh, this next map is um Old Tech by Beritra Vice. And um I have a lot of details in, in the description here. I'm trying to figure out what's important. Um the fun facts, I need them. This square. The over the overpass functions as a mid and can be used to rotate with either to either site. Um, is there an overpass? Yeah, it's this thing. I oh, think. Oh, I, I see. I see. So that's oh, a and that's b. Cool. Okay, so there's like a if you're up here, this is like a half a second rotation time. Yes, but you're very vulnerable. Obviously. Okay, so it looks like there's not a ton of negative space inside the building, but the outside I feel like might have an okay so. amount. I'm curious why there's these like even outsider routes, like <laughs> like that like there's an outside route and then there's an outsider route. Yeah. Like So yeah, that does mean that So T start over here and they can Okay, so if I'm going to A, I could either Go in there and go to A, or I can just run around the outside here, and then come in through this side, or come around back here and flank the site, or uh, come around to Shaki's pond. <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna be. And then if it's B, okay. So this is a map where, as a CT, you would definitely want to sit on the bomb sites because there's so many routes. I don't think mm -hmm. I don't think you'd have enough CTs for them. So like. So for A, uh, this really only has this one entrance here, uh, which you could put a CT here. So it's one. Um, dude, I guess you'd want a CT here, which is two. Um, you'd want a CT on this bridge, which is three. Um, let's see. You want somebody here, I guess, which is like four. And then fifth one. I mean, you would they would need to be sitting like right here, but T's can come in through here. So you'd have to be sitting like right here and watch two different angles. So I feel like there's already off the top of my head too many places for T's to come from. Yeah, uh, I feel just... like you won't have enough you won't have enough CTs to play all the choke points, it looks like. I have to deviate. I think, uh, obviously speaking, we haven't played this the map, so we can't really say for sure. But I think at first glance, this, this layout doesn't necessarily work, but I think it can uh, with some adjustments. And I think it could be, like, actually really fun. I think it's this idea of the bridge in between the sites where you could just rotate immediately is pretty cool. And a nice idea to play around with. It is. I think I've seen this kind of thing before, and... Usually the big issue is, well, I don't know, because it really depends, because T's can get up here. Um, I think it it seems like there's just too much going on, I think. like Yeah, that's the problem at the moment. If like half the routes were cut out, I feel like this could be somewhere close to working. But right yeah. now, I really am not sure how you would play this as a CT, because I think there's just too many places T's can come from. Um, yeah, I agree. And there, and the thing is, like, you know, if you have a T pushing, like, outside of A for, or something, you could have, like, a T from here flash, a T from there flash, and you could just flash the entire site and just oh my god get everywhere, right? So it's like, yeah, I'm not really sure how you would play this, really. It just needs to trim down some of the uh, extraneous pathways and entrances and simplify some I think some so. Areas. I think a little bit more negative space on the inside might be a nice yeah, too. I think true. there's art there's already not an awful amount. Like I've seen I've seen maps with a lot less negative space. Um so like this isn't like the worst I've ever seen, but I think that would help a little bit. Um I like the bridge idea too, but I think maybe the bomb shites should still be maybe a little bit more separated. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah. yeah, no, I mean it is what it is. Yeah. I still think it's a cool map though. Do you have anything? No, you pretty much nailed it in the forehead, didn't it? So. Nailed it in the forehead. How would the right. forehead be like? 
All right. Um, let's go to the next map. All right. This is a uh, paradigm by Opsy. Oh, I was expecting you to say it's paradise by celery. I was gonna die. <laughs> Why? What? Ah, nothing because it would have been funny. We not have. So I'm assuming you said we actually to submitted to map names. <laughs> I am here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, paradigm by Opsy. Let's see. No, this is a radio station, I guess. Or like. Uh, the description does not say what it is. Some sort of facility with an antenna. Okay, so this is CT spawn. So how is a CT? Instantly, I'm like, how do I get it to be? There's a sign here that says B this way. That's always okay. Wait, follow on the signs that say how to get to B. Okay, this is B. Oh, so the radar is just a little bit confusing. I, yeah. So I A is above, above it, basically. Yeah. Huh, okay. It would really help to have two level radar here. Maybe, I think I, I, think I get it now, but yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna focus on A first because I'm a bit curious. So um, you have one entrance here. Can you real quick, this? can I can I button? Uh, what? Somebody said, can they update their description on their workshop page, or is that not? Allowed? Yes, you can update. You can you can update descriptions, images, um, all that stuff, but you can't upload a new BSP because we can we can see what time um, you uploaded a new BSP and. Um, it's a different update time than the one that shows on the workshop page. So, yeah, feel free to update description and that kind of stuff. But cool. just don't upload a new BSP. Sorry about that. All good. Um, so as I was saying, I don't... Can you, actu can you actually smoke this? Uh, so you have to put it right in the middle, and even if you do, there's still gaps a little bit. And from my experience doing playtests and stuff, it's very hard to consistently throw it right in the middle, especially like, you know, in the heat of a game. So I'm a bit worried that this will, in practice, end up being very hard to smoke. Um, but, I mean, otherwise, that leaves two two main entrances to A, so you would definitely, I feel like, need two CTs. Yeah, you need two CTs on A, definitely. Um, so let's see. To attack B, I can break the vent, which is going to make noise. Um, I guess CTs might actually be able to push up this choke point and like play from here. That does leave this open. And okay, there's a lot of paths going around. I'm trying to figure out. Okay, you would still need a CT on the short point though, so it doesn't really matter where you play it. Um, this is a so big ass two... I would honestly put a CT here as well, um, like right here, just to block this flank. It's basically it's essentially a flank grab. So that's three, um, and then two more CTs. There is so... that's an interesting point. You have the bomb site entrance, and then just a flank route, which is nice. You have to have a. CT right here, and let's go. That's a hut. So then you'd have to have a CT right here too, and they'd have to essentially block two entrances. But one of them is a vent that makes the sound. Okay, so I I can immediately visualize where you would play the CTs. Um, my one worry is it looks like the T's have a lot of options. So if they like all split between them, it feels like it could be very easy. It's so like this vent and this. This vent makes a noise when they break it, but, like, that doesn't, like, just because you know they're coming there doesn't necessarily help you, because if T's push from there at the same time, you're still kind of screwed, so. And my worry is, it seems like, if you're playing here, right, and your teammate here dies, uh, they, they've got your flank, like, so mm. I'm kind of worried about the positioning of... Like the uh, how the angles are looking at each other, but it's kind of hard to say without playing it because there's so much going on. Which not necessarily too much, but there's a lot going on, so it's hard for me to gauge how it will play. <laughs> what do you What do you got, Chief? 
Um, yeah, the routing is I'm not 100% certain on. I do kind of like how both bomb sites play, essentially. We're just taking them at face value. How you can kind of play around them, you got little bits and areas to check. All that yeah, cover on A seems interesting. I actually kind of disagree with Chief there on the on the routing. I think it actually kind of makes sense. Um, it's just how the, the B site's laid out, where you kind of come from both sides, which I think is pretty interesting. Um, sort of like a new, well, but less elevation change. I think I think I kind of I kind of agree with Chief. I feel like a lot of the pathing is unnecessarily complicated, or at least it seems that way to me. Um, Do you have a specific example, like a specific pathway you have an issue with? Well, like just overall. So, like for well, there's a couple spots I would say, but like for example, this path right here, right? So where you at? You um right here. I don't know. I'm shooting. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so like here, like you have this route that goes like in towards B. There's a breakable vent right there, by the way. Um, yeah. And like this route goes on the inside of B, and then you can also get here. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I'm a bit confused because like this route is just the same thing but safer. So it's like I feel like these like this kind of thing. Like obviously I know that's kind of for timing reasons and stuff, but like it just yeah. adds more complexity when maybe you didn't need to. As well as like some of this interior pathing over here is like. I can get that. Yeah. Kind of weird. I see. Like, like I feel like it's it could almost be simplified just from my first glance at it. But yeah, it could probably be simplified. But overall, I don't think it's outright bad. I don't think it's too complicated. Mm -hmm. But it almost seems like it could be simplified just off the top of my head. Yeah. Is there any uh anything else? Uh, I don't talk. think so. Not for me. I don't know if Chief is talking because he sounded really distant there for a second. You're really distant. Oh, thanks, dude. Chief ASMR? Oh, yeah. Love the ASMR next map. stream, oh my god. Alright, next map. Alright, this is um, Pecorino by Extra Cheesy Pie. Pecorino. I have a thousand. Army Jano Reggiano. Nice. <laughs> and I just crashed. Based comment. I get to crash. Why would you have to crash? I crashed too. I'm just superior in every way possible. We got the crash counter going. We got the standard word counter going. I don't know if they have a crash counter going. All I know is that they have a standard one. Oh, what is this, crash number three or four? Your... I'll be right back. Oh, you won't. Alright, dude. I feel like that. Alright. Go ahead and hit it off. While we... It's good to see you join us back. CT to A. Got a little tucked away here, but the routing kind of goes around the side here. Never like ladders going up into kind of like a choke point area. So do that as soon. One to two skip here. Wow, they are far back. All right. How far would twos theoretically get here? There, there's a long angle to start off with. Got to deal with that. CT's probably get that upper area, I'd say. Maybe they even play it further back, right there. You might need to smoke just to advance a bit, just to get different angles. Then you can maybe play slowly up here. Then CT's probably get up here. I'm really curious what the timing is for this. Because T seems like they have a bit to go. 
So it's just going to get all the way up to here, and this would be the initial choke point. Oh god, alright, where am I? Alright, this is toggle like... because B doesn't B isn't marked. B isn't marked? Right. Well, I guess well B is B is this whole room, I guess, so. Oh A isn't really marked either, is it? Um Yeah, right, this is your pretty so... short right here, I'd say. And just one entrance each. Uh, two sticking in the upper, it looks like. Wonder if CTs... No. CTs can fight. Probably their way. CTs don't necessarily get this. Oh, so they have to probably oh, at least yeah, face lower. one... T T's probably have to face at least one CT to get to that heaven, so they probably more often than not won't have that. Yeah, 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 I just realized. Look, you mean smoke right here, like I said earlier, the A timing good. seems pretty quick for CTs to actually advance. So it's mm -hmm. CTs could even be in, like right here to hold this. Mm -hmm. So this could be uncharted okay, territory. So, so it seems pretty simple for the most part. Um, so I would probably do two on A, just because you have this upper part. Um, and then one at this mid, you could have to hold that with one, and then I guess you just throw two CTs at B. I like how you can drop down here as a T, even though it's exactly the same angle right here. Unless you like smoke at this or flash it, then you can try to come around here. Mm -hmm. And you have a little bit of a better angle, although it's kind of nearly the same thing. I guess you're just peeking it also, You don't also have to face this angle back here too. And then potentially this angle too. Oh, this is this could be a weird angle, sitting on the cover here. Yeah. Oh, I see. What you mean. Yeah. And so there's a lot of different places the CTs could play, which I'm not sure is in this scenario. In this case, I'm not sure how that would actually feel. Um. The rotation times do s look pretty short, though, at least, like, at first glance, like... Mid could potentially be kind of long. Talk to me about T yeah. rotations right now, because... T oh. rotations would... they don't seem that bad. But it's, it's like CT rotations look probably weirder, mostly because, like, pushing through mid and going all the way around looks like it takes a while. Um... And then other than that, your only option, I guess, is going through this B thing where they pretty much link up at the same spot. Um, so you basically have, looks like, one place to retake from coming through CT. Um, you need to get different angles and looks into it. What you should probably do is you probably yeah, back here. You get different angles, but you still have to go into the same place. So, you know, yeah, if, t if T's are playing back here, or like back here, or in this corner, like it doesn't really matter that you have different angles into the site, because you're He's probably not going to be exposed there anyway. So, I'm retaking. I'm not really sure about right now on B. Um, looks like A probably would have a similar problem um, where there's not a lot of options. Pushing through mid does look a bit more viable though, um, just because this like cylindrical cover back here kind of makes the time from A to B take longer, but it looks like from B to A it wouldn't be as bad, because you could choose different routes. So yeah, I'm not really sure about retaking it as a whole on this map. All map options are there too. So as a T, if you take mid, you probably want... Well, you... Yeah, you can, but you don't have anything to B unless you go all the way to the CT spawn. You probably just take this route, or take this little, uh... Right here, and even then, you're not getting that much to it. Yeah, interesting. Mid doesn't seem overly desired outside of this kind of little character path right here. Because, again, you know, they go all the way through here, and then essentially can flank A, but CTs have the options to you know, go back here to hold a very passive angle to site and to this mid area. It's kind of strange. I'd play more of the route instead of trying to take mid. 
but first impression, not too sure. Yeah. That's all I got. All right, I don't have anything else. Do you have any bitches? Yes, you're here. Yes. Got him. Damn. All right. Next map is Pipe Yard by Pro Aggressive. Taking your mom to the pipe yard. Thank oh. you. All right, I'll stop. <laughs> Better. All right. Give it a second. Do the post game. All right. All right. So this immediately seems to me like a more conventional layout. Um, off like just at first glance. Um, but so A is in a corner, but there's a lot of places to play around without it. Like, there's still a lot of other places on the site. So, what does mid look like? Okay, so we've got like a stacked mid going on here. So, CTs can come from. CTs can set up either in this window or at this lower part here. Okay, so that's interesting. Now, the lower part doesn't seem to be super useful for actually holding mid. Um, it looks like just a secondary, like a, you'd have a secondary CT there maybe, because I feel like if you stick to this wall, it would be really hard for the CT to see you, um, like at lower, depending on how they're playing it. Um, but be look like okay so b is also kind of in a corner um kind of hmm. okay, so Good oh morning, wow the ship is right beside b oh Okay, so yeah, especially especially this, yeah. Right there. Um, I'm trying to think where would I where would I set up CT? So I'd have two on B probably. Um, well, this would be your long range guy right here holding this angle. Then you have your close range guy to prevent the massive. So right there. The, the 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 thing is with the close range guy, it's like um, like I'm not really sure where you would set up to hold this. Like right here with a shotgun, maybe, maybe or like yeah, back you here. Hold, you can't hold back here because you have a blind spot right there. You yeah, I mean that's this, maybe have a little bit of cover. Maybe you could bullets. you could hold right here, I guess. So I probably I would sit there because that'd be your second guy trying to help out because you have to move right here and try to help you out. Yeah, but my my point was like other than that, your options are pretty limited yeah. as to how to actually play it. Which I agree, I agree. this might be it might be overpowered to say with the shotgun because this is so close range. Yeah, but um, you have so I'd be curious. Plenty of space to kind of use CT. So you definitely have at least two CTs here, definitely. Yeah. Um, okay, what about A? Um, so you're one so do they, do they have this... to cross this? Okay, they they have to cross this. So you could feasibly do this with one CT if they held this. I would do two though, um, just because yeah, that smoke is possible. Yeah, you can um, actually cross where the pillar is and leave a gap in the smoke. Try to clear in goals. That's kind of interesting. So then that would leave one in mid, where you would probably play heaven, or you could play lower if you want. But you could also take one of the ACTs and play the other one mid, because you could feasibly just watch this angle and hope they don't cross. So looks like there's a little bit of potential variance in how you could play that. Um, but I would always do two at B, I would say, because, yeah. This reminds me a bit of uh, Mirage's apps, in a way. Kind yeah, kind of. Window crossing, but you also got spots for CTs. Like you got the spot right under there. You got this little pit area down here. Mm -hmm. It's right here too. So you do have to advance quite a bit as a T to get to right here. By the time that happens, and you should have the entire area flushed out. And let me look at mid again. So T 
T's come from right or left. You can yeah, there's no... They can easily... Okay, well, I guess that does make it a lot harder to hold mid if they can come from either side. Um, this is almost... This almost looks like a headshot angle, though. Yes, it is. That's tough as... If I sit all... If I, if I crouch all the way back here, this is a headshot angle. Absolutely. I'm doing okay. three mid looks feet. actually a lot harder to hold than I thought it would be. Just because they can come from either side, I didn't realize that. Left, right, or down, but... Yeah, I, don't I would see much want to down. do. Oh yeah, the down part too, because in heaven you can't even really hold that, can you? Unless you're sitting at the ledge. No, yeah. Unless you're sitting at the ledge, you can't hold lower, because, like, once you're this far back, you can't see anything down there. Hey, so it's like uh, Marauders so, A side you, again. You can pull one of the CTs from A side and have them play the connector. I, I, my first thought is you would almost have to have two CTs play mid, just because of the options of the T's. Yeah. Yeah, this guy up on this side, you have to play more aggressive angle to get both of them, and then you're completely blind from the down under. So, what's the question be, could you try playing a CT from Beacon? Probably not. You have a long ways to go, and you don't really want to push this. You lose this, and the push out from this shorter route from B is very powerful. So. Oh, wait, T's get that? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I didn't realize T's got this. Oh, wow. That makes yeah, it even do. harder to hold mid. <laughs> Yeah, you, oh, wow. okay, okay. It's, I'd say at this point, it's a necessity to have someone right here in Akon. You wouldn't, yeah, two mid would be absolutely necessary. Um, honestly, you would, I almost feel like you would need three mid, um, to be honest, to hold what's here, but I don't think you can really do that because I don't think you can hold B with one person. Somebody in chat said CTs get there first. I don't know if that means he can, the CTs it doesn't really matter or before they do or. I don't know what he means. Oh, you? Do they mean this connector up here? Oh, like the like you're saying, like the B player would plays up here. Yeah. This I is what I mentioned. So. This is what I mentioned earlier. Is that you could have a person right here, but you don't want to get in password right here. Like, I mean, you could have like flanking options, but if you lose the CT player, what I was saying. Yeah, exactly. Is that That's everything opens up. Like. Mhm. Mm yeah. It seems very unforgiving for the CTs. Like you lose one CT, and it's like it seems really hard to bounce back from that. Um, retakes don't look um, awful though it looks like you do have options so that's nice um, so yeah I'd be curious to see how that actually plays in practice because this might be this is looking like it'll probably be one where it plays extremely differently to how you think it would I like these sites I think mid is very unforgiving for CTs and then B same thing especially if you lose one of your players here it's a very quick and easy to be site yep I don't have anything else to say about this. Neither do I. All right. Let's move on. Next map is Ratio by Kochi. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Why is the map called Ratio? Okay, whatever. All right. Please scratch me. Because it's made by Damn. fucking Kochi, out of all people. Of course it's named Ratio. All right. This is ratio. Okay, so A has like three entrances. Where does this mid one go? If this I remember like, correctly, I spoke to him last night and he said he couldn't make like any changes to the map because he was so busy, so it might be completely fucked. I don't care, so there's plus ratio. Three, three right, entrances Chief. to A. So... But, th but this is like the mid connector though, so you would need at least two on A, I feel like. You would need um, two playing the routes, so you would not want to be a CT on the bomb site. Well, so well you, could have, you could have a CT here instead of, well, so the mid CT could either be here, or they could be here. I feel like uh, those would both be viable spots for the CT, the mid CT to play. Um, looks like there might be a bit of a lack of cover for the mid CT though, but... It does look like there are options where they could feasibly play. And then I guess you do, what, 2 on B? Yeah, okay, 2 on B. Um, so yeah, it looks like you. this would be a 2-1-2 two, two in the mid-CT. It's like a Nemi, kind of, where the mid-CT has flexibility in where they want to play, is what it seems like to me. Um, and a lot of that does depend on the timings, which I don't know. Um, does look like you can't smoke this, though, unless you perfectly toss a smoke right here. Um... But I'm going to guess, yeah, you would have angles over this. 
Um, bomb skip, the bomb sites feel very scaled up. Like there's a lot of open space where you're trying to like frantically kind of get to cover if you're kind of like a T anyway, because you're not, you're essentially not smoking anything. I think you're using more flashes and mollies and smokes in this map. Yeah, at, le at least in CT, it doesn't seem like there's many feasible places to smoke, at least consistently, because, you know, if this is smoked, I don't even know if you can smoke that. But if that's smoked, then they can just go to this wide spot that you can't smoke. It's, I guess it's awkward for actually both teams, yeah. Um, yeah, mid CT could play either side, I guess. I need to mid here. So you go through A to get to mid, it looks like. Then this is your CT guy over here. Your, your CT guy could either play from here or from up here. I think I think they would both be probably about the same effectiveness, assuming you were good. Okay. I'm not good. Neither am I, don't. Yeah, for the kind of open skill that all the routes have, there's very actu there's very little cover to actually utilize. Especially like it looks that way, yeah. yeah, it's a very open kind of map. I think just a lot of the routes and areas need to be scaled down a bit, trimmed up, trimmed down, and then cover for both teams to utilize. Instead of like these kind of just like little height differences or these little walls, you're just frantically running to get to somewhere. So the um, retake options don't look super great at uh, first glance. So, I mean, like, you know, this is like a 10 second rotation probably going through CT, which is, that's one spot. But like, I guess otherwise, what are your options going through mid, I guess? Like, right and then, like, I don't, it almost seems like it would take too long to wrap, wrap all the way around, so I'm not really sure if there are really any other viable options unless you start pushing at the start of the round um, for retaking. That's what it seems like, at least. But I have not play tested this, so I have no idea. Okay, it's easy to go here. Okay, that's a long time for cheese, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it. CTC actually push up be quite a bit. The engagement might be actually somewhere like right around this corridor right here, if they so dare to push that far up. But that's a lot simpler for what it is. It's essentially kind of one entrance for each area, but for B or uh, A side, the T's get two. Yeah, I just open space and cover is the main issue for this. Yeah, I'm not really sure how this would play. It looks like a lot of the places might be a bit too big to have like a set way to play it. It looks like it might just, a lot of stuff might just end up being gunfights just because a lot of things are really open. Versus like playing, like it might just, I mean like gunfights in the open rather than around cover and using a lot of utility. That's what I think, at least from looking at it. I don't think I have anything else. Neither do I. Next time. All right. Next map is Recovery by Waldo. Recovery by Waldo. All right. Get ready for the most detailed gray box in the world. I've heard no, that four times last detailed. contest screen. Crosswater is the most detailed one, if not the Japan one. Iowa. I don't know. I think I think those are probably the most detailed. I don't know. This is the this is pretty detailed though. I'm not gonna be playing music in okay. the stream. Deal with it. So this is recovery. Okay. I like how you read chat for once and you completely missed the part where you got wrecked. I did read it. I read between every map load, and I don't care enough to respond. All right. So, so B is inside of this little temple thing, and B the site itself has two entrances to it, but it's very easy to run around to the other one. Okay. Oh, yeah, small little bumps right here. Two entrance for CTs here to hold. Okay, so mid is like, almost looks like it's split in half, kind of. Like, um, so like, the T's approach right here, and 
I think I think there could be a CT here, but um, after this, then they're in like this other mid path almost, where there could be another CT easily here, um, and then they get into A, which looks interesting. Um, I, di I did take a look at this map. I ran around it uh, to make sure there are no props or anything previously uh, before this update or whatever. And it does look like he had uh, some height variation, which is good, because uh, I think before there wasn't really much. And I do like um, the height variation that he added versus what it was before. Um, Didn't he already take a crack uh, at this thing? Is this his that was uh, the theme? Yeah. Uh, the other one was Turbulence, which for a variety of reasons was not anywhere close to finished. Yeah. So he worked on that one too, right? Via, via yeah, via and Terry of... also worked on that. Uh, mm -hmm. It's interesting as a T, you can kind of smoke this route, cut this off completely, and you have not also do you have an angle from T to look into here, but outside of like one more angle, you essentially can plant right here and come all the way back, and you got ways to defend it that fast. You don't need to take the entirety of the bombsite area, so maybe a CT to be a little bit more aggressive. CT CTs can easily smoke this though. It seems like. Um, so it depends on the timing of how hard the CTs get up, and they, utility they can also use very easily, but mm -hmm. I'd also want to see So, definitely want a CT playing this like mid-ish area. Okay, so where would I actually have CTs playing? Uh, one at long A, I guess. One at this A window, so it's two on A. Uh, you could, you could do one on B side itself, and so what, that leaves two CTs left. Um... So I'd probably do one at this connector, I guess, and then one here, or like peeking at the top mid. Okay, so that gives you a little bit of flexibility in how you want to play this mid area. You could also sit back here. I can't see you throw you could over this wall. Play deep in this connector. Um, okay, so it looks like there is some um, some choice in how you actually want to play mid. It looks like there's multiple ways to do it, which is interesting. Um. The site itself of A looks pretty standard. Um, the one thing that I'm noticing is this connector, um, which is right on site and almost covers the whole thing, except for like this plant area, I guess. Okay. But I think that's probably the most likely plant spot is right here. It looks like the default to me, at least. Unless they come from this side, in which case they might plant here or here. I don't know. Um. I'd say the T angles into bombsite are actually pretty good for what they're offering. Like, CTs definitely need to make sure they can hold onto them, because, like, the side route, for example, their first choke yeah, point they... is essentially, like, if, it's, if the CTs don't push this, and their first choke point is this furthest back CT entrance into site, and they have a very wide look into the bombsite, while the T's up here with a slight height advantage can also kind of spill out, and they get quite a few looks in the bombsite area, too. Mm -hmm. So... Could be challenging for CTs, but otherwise they need to be very aggressive with how they hold the entrances. Definitely a smoke or a flash here, or a smoke or a vault on there. Make sure they hold onto this right here. Because not too many places to play here, so just make sure they hold onto the routes there. Let's take a look at mid. Oh, one thing I, yeah, one thing I do like about the A uh, window is that it doesn't peek into any, like, other routes like you're just looking at the site um which is nice because um that kind of separation is really nice to play with um and it looks like the a long route is basically the same too which is really cool um b looks like yeah i don't know what are you, what are you gonna say about mid i was gonna say i like how you could advance a little bit up here too you get the longer people oh yeah that's the, nice. there yeah, it, it is really nice how you're not forced to play long angles in mid like a lot of other maps. Um, or at least, like, it's not like, it doesn't seem anywhere near required. Like, it looks very easy to play, like, the more medium angles from back here as CT. And it looks like you probably wouldn't necessarily be missing anything by playing the medium angles. Okay. I'm interested. B seems, yeah, definitely a lot more simple, but if they take mid control, it looks like it could in instantly become, like, a lot more complex, or if they push through CT to move this route, which I feel like that's a lot less likely to happen, but it does look possible, so... 
I'm interested. The site does seem kind of hard to take, though, without any mid control. Because, I mean, like a CT here could easily just smoke yeah. this, right? And it's then, that far up. Yeah, it definitely and then, becomes a bit of a... And then, even, and then even that, they could play, like, close with a shotgun here. Or, like, inside the bomb site, right? Or here with an M4. Like, it, seem, it seems a lot harder to take as a T, but... It... I think that's to encourage a little bit of taking mid as well, is what it seems like. Yeah, it's definitely the one more favorite to be, because, like I said, for A-Sites, the thing I'd be curious about how it playtests is uh, how do each of these little, these two routes complement each other? Do CTs mm -hmm. get a good grip on here? Because this gets a very, very wide look into the bomb side if they take full control there. Uh, T's have to push up quite a bit here, but they get the height advantage, you get some looks to the bomb side area too. So I wonder how each route, these, how each of these two routes would complement each other while taking a site. And then, yeah, what you said for B, I think makes perfect sense that considering the timing is this far up, they have a utility to easily use and they can easily hold down this little area. And mid is definitely more favorable to take for uh, control for control for B for T's. This is definitely an interesting one to play test. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else to be said? I don't Rule know what to say about it. Yes, this map. Where's Slamic feedback? Cool map. That's what you get. Alright, next one. Alright, um. First today. First today. That's true. Next map is Reverie by Aglet. Reverie. Oh my god, why is there like 100 new messages? Or. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a. Was oh, this like a like a racing thing? Might be a go kart track. <laughs> Let me see if the workshop description says anything. Can't believe pit stop is in the nope. contest. Doesn't say anything. Okay. Um. Okay. So. Your name's on this map. Winning my favorite. Oh my god, it's me. Um. No, Skutsky's biased. Don't know. So. Mm -hmm. So A has. Okay, so they can't come through here, right? But, is... oh. oh no. Oh, CTs can push through this though. Okay, so there's three entrances to A, but one is from mid. So you would want at least two. CTs on A. On Porsche. Mid, you could. Ooh, the side path makes seems like it would make it really hard to play one only one CT in mid. It almost seems like you would need almost like two. Is this a door? What is what's going on here? I think no it's a bug right okay. here. Oh, oh the, yeah, okay. That was so only, very only CTs low. can open that. Okay. Is that door you open? Wait, when would you ever open that, though? I don't know. Because a, a CT, that just makes it harder, right? And then T's... I don't know why T's would open it, because it would make it easier for CT's to retake, so... Yeah. I'm not really that, sure what the point of that would be. I was a CT spot, really. I guess if your teammates are spawn. dying mid, you click the button, but still, I wouldn't even do it then. I would just force them to go through CT spawn. Yeah, you would way. just want to back off, probably. So then with B, there's one main entrance, which I don't, I don't think you can smoke this. Deploying smoke shield. Uh, Door slow. Not really. No, there's a huge gap on the right side. Um, you could smoke this though, but I don't know how the timing works out. And I also wouldn't want to play up here because there's no cover. Um. So you could you could feasibly do one CT at B and two at A, one mid, and then the other one at upper mid maybe. Okay, yeah, this this might work. Um, this feels like another map though, where if one CT dies, it all falls apart. Like it looks really hard to fill any gaps where CTs die. Um, 
because I, I feel like everything is so spread out. Um, it seems like it would be quite hard to fill anything. I wonder this wraps around two. I'm not sure. What, what, what do you got, Chief? What do you want me to do? Um, I feel that more of a site. Also, the rotations feel a little bit longer for T's. Have you noticed that, that the rotations feel longer? Yeah, the T rotations seem killer. All right. But even then, just killing one or two CTs really just ends them out for them. Because what I'm noticing for a site is you have a lot of options as T, from the looks of it. If I have that right, you got the upper, lower main, which needs to still out there. Then, what was this? Okay, this is a mid con, but this, this is a is very mid -row. Order. Okay. And, and my, my other point was mid looks very hard to hold because it's like so flat and there's like two different places. So it looks like it wouldn't, it would be pretty trivial for T's to eventually get this mid connector, right? So. T's get that for free. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. If T's kind of get that for free just a little bit longer to go through that route, then you're really backed up as a CT taking mid or holding mid. Mm -hmm. It's not door, I keep getting that. So, and you're blind to that. Yeah, that's, that's a little rough, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And you can only open that through here, which you guys discussed already. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of mid from the first looks of it. I don't know, yeah. I feel like this map spreads CTs a little thin, and just having one of them dead mm -hmm. definitely puts an impact on how they can rotate and hold the map. No. Kind of strange. I'm in agreement. Do you have anything else? Yeah, I was gonna say, timings also feel quite long for me. And if it's that mm -hmm. close to CT, no, CT's a little far too. I don't know. Whole map seems a little long and how it's for us hardly now. But that's all I got. Alright. All Let's right. move on. Next map is. And I gotta restart the server. Aww. Uh, give me a second. I mean, are you not doing the, your map right if you're not hitting the brush limits? Based? Alright, I'm restarting the server. Uh, while the server's restarting, I'm gonna grab some pizza. So, I will be right back. Yo. Today's sponsor, Papa Murphy's. Pizza Planet. Pizza Hut. It's in the hut. In the hut. So Twitch chat, how you doing so far? You hanging in there, guys? Uh, it's up to Splitsky if we're doing fun facts. He'll look at the workshop inscriptions and stuff, and he'll tell us if there are any good fun facts. Raid is not sponsoring the stream. Sponsored. It's actually, um, it's... Nitro Pepsi. Whatever it's called. I think it's Nitro. Yes, it is. Give us the phone fact, Fizzy. Glad you're doing good. Or Evan Suen. I can't read. I like to be sponsored by Raid. I get a new spider in here every other day. And it's coming summertime, and basically in April, we're hitting 90s in a few days, so I could use some Raid. California moment. I know, I know. Mapping fun fact, during World War II, a bear served in the Soviet Polish Corps, eventually being promoted to Corporal. I do, not know, I do not see how this is a mapping fact, but, you know, it is definitely a fact. Make a map about it, obviously. Yeah. Free Polish. FNAF Easter egg, oh my god. So what's our next one? Our next one is... A Riolu? Maybe that. So that's a little less than half we've completed. Probably two-thirds left of the maps. We're making a pretty good time. Alright, I'm back. 
So we have about 24 maps left, I think. Okay. Uh, we've got one, two, oh wait, 61 minus, or no, 84 minus 61. 23? 23? Yeah. Ah, uh, that was close. Server is up. Uh, what's on your pizza, dude? Um, it is a veggie supreme pizza. So it has black olives, green olives, green peppers, onions, and mushrooms. Ugh, mushrooms. See, the thing is, the only thing good on that pizza is mushrooms and nope. uh, the green onions. The only thing the bad peppers, on that pizza is mushrooms. Them. Nope. All right. <clears throat> Enjoy. Thank you so much. Is there an alphabetical list anywhere? Uh, screen? It should be in the Spooky Manor channel. Go to genital, scroll up, you should find it. There's a real blue on the map. Ooh. Okay, so this is real blue by ABP. All right. Ah, there's a big ass bird. This will be one of one maps that I've actually play tested a bit. And enter their states. Uh, Waldo wants a slice of your pizza, Squid. Um, it's not slices, it's squares. That's still a slice, is it not? No, it's different. It's just a square um, slice. Yeah. Okay, so we've got, uh, a site seems kind of sus. Um. Hmm. Uh, Chief, did you like my joke? Supreme spot here. Seems kind yes, of sus. Yes, 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 yes. Um, okay. So, this is another map where it has like a door right on the site. Um, okay, but it looks like almost, it looks more more optional than some other ones because you could also just wrap around it with long part. But it also doesn't mean CTs could play here too. So. I still probably want two CTs to play this. Um, is my first guess. Um, so this doesn't have a standard mid. It looks like this mid is like. Eh, no, this is this is actually a good mid. I would say. Where, where is, is this under? Oh yeah, okay, it is. There's like an underground path. Oh, oh this comes out a. Let's go. Oh, that goes upper A. Eh? Oh, okay, so this is a lot. Wow. Okay, then this goes up to B. Hmm. Interesting. I feel like that mid and that underground thing is going to have a higher learning curve, but I almost feel like that could be... Like, it almost doesn't feel too much. It almost feels like... um. Like there's a lot, but it almost feels like once you learn it, like it it, it would be pretty pretty simple to like conceptualize once you learn it. Um, that's kind of like a stacked middle. How do you how do you even get there? You like come out here? Okay. CTs would play here. So then. Huh. Okay. Where would you play CTs? Or no. Um. I guess one watching this long route, and this has this has the elevator shaft you can jump over um, on B. I don't know if you've seen this, but um, okay. So there's like this elevator shaft you can jump over. The one thing I'm skeptical about is that sight line into sight. Like I, I almost it feels very dangerous to actually jump over it. Just oh, and I fell. Um, it feels dangerous to jump over it just because like. It's just like right in the middle of everything. Um, it almost seems like it could be very risky, but I would still say there's probably one CT that plays this outer part. I guess one CT playing this inner part, um, which looks like it would play somewhere over here. Um, this underpass doesn't really mean anything for CTs because it's just like a rotation route, but they could look at it if they want to. So 2A, 2B, and then one in this mid area, I guess. Seems like how I would probably play it. Um, it does look like there's a lot of options, though, for how CTs want to hold things, which is very interesting. 
Um, I'm, a, I'm a fan of that. Hmm. The one thing I'm mostly not sure about is this house on A. It's like, um, it's kind of like, it's like almost three levels stacked. Not, not like two, but still, I don't know. What do you think, Chief? Um, it's kind of interesting because this is outside of a few differences. It's very similar to what I play tested back during the, uh, Source Engine play test. Uh, from what I can recall, from what I see, that is the same and not the same. Uh, B side looks pretty similar. The issue here, or there was no issue, I'd say that the way it played out was that uh, this side route was very rarely taken. It was always maybe like Chound or something, but CT's always had a good clamp on here, so this actually never became really utilized. And if they did somehow like push all the way up here because they had quite a uphill battle here, uh, it wasn't too much of an issue for I feel. For the uh, CTs to kind of have one guy, you should have like two right here, so they have one guy just holding this right here, and then their second guy would be holding down this route right here. And they can play anything like behind here, everything. So, unless T is committed to like a mass push of this kind of narrow hallway right here, this is very easy for CTs to kind of have a hold on, because they also get like the crossing angles in here. So, T's would need to do a little bit of work to get to a uh, uh, a site, from what I remember, this right route, there's always an operator here holding this down, so utility was very needed right there. It was never fully desired to push all the way through here. Like, unless you kill this operator right here, what you would have to do is go through not that way. The common route was to smoke him off and go through kind of like this under area right here, which seems a little different, I can't tell. It's hard for me to tell, but you only get to under and you're still back at B. The T roads should be anyway. I don't I didn't play A too much, so I can't remember how it was, but see your concern with the door. I don't think it was actually too utilized until post plant. So if uh, T's weren't normally ever found to actually like push this area, because again, TT's had a very good clamp on this little area right here. So in post plant this is a very common spot that T's yeah. would plant for. That makes sense to me. And I remember very much that this was extremely spammed. I see the sign is to prevent that now, but every third round or so, someone would die through this window trying to like cross through here or just try to spam themselves. Very fun, very chaotic, but I see that has been nerfed now. And that's all I got. So. Yeah, I don't really have anything else. It seems really interesting to me, and I'd want to play it because I feel like I'm not really sure how it would play. Alright, that's all we got. Yeah. Alright. Alright, this next map is... Yes. This next map is Rook by Fuseb. And fun fact about this one, I looked at this probably about two hours before the deadline, and it had props in it, and I marked it that it had props. And then 30 minutes before the deadline, he updated it to remove all of the props. So there, there are no more props anymore. Right. Right. Oh, look at it. Well, like props on this map. Oh, Oh well, Chief died. What do you mean, oh well? Chief. I'm coming back. This dude missed his map two days in a row. How? He was the guy who named his map wrong, so he missed it the first day, and then he missed it the second day by just not being. We haven't gone through it yet. It's still it's in like two more maps yet. Well, then I guess he's dumb. <laughs> I don't know. If man. you weren't aware, the letter U is after the letter O in the alphabet. That's insane. Imagine English alphabet. 
I don't know that. Double fountain. What is the current map called? It is uh, Rook. Rook. On tray edition. Before the main dish. No, this is entry. Never mind. Wow, we got a pit of hell. Aw. Oh. Oops. Sorry. I don't you guys to know, especially Waldo, this pizza goes hard as fuck. You trying to give me some? Nope. Alright then. Alright, good thing. This just in, Squidski does not share. Uh, ace side cover places. seems very simple. The squares. I mean, got the two entrances right here, but it's essentially just three walls, I guess you could say, or two walls. You got the main bomb site cover to kind of run around, but it's not a very desirable cover piece. You probably have CTs almost always up here. They can hold off the left route, maybe a little bit right here, get the right route. Otherwise, you're probably playing closer angles as a CT, trying to play me like these little nooks and cubbies right here. Shotgun SMGs. If their timing favors them, maybe they can try to push up through here, but he's got a lot of open space to counter that. So, nothing too complex to play, but... Let's see, mid... It is somewhere... Ah, I see, okay. Drop down here, and then you get a look into middle right here. Okay. Let's go a little upper way, then CTs can drop down here, but it looks like they can't get back up, which is kind of interesting. Oh, they can. Okay, they need two jumps. So but we, you don't want you yourself the whole exposed chat like that. Talking about pizza. I like how all these are brushes. Alright, how's your 8 comp look? Okay, so the upper next section actually goes right next to the 8 con. Okay. So yeah, if your CT player who needs to be up here can also play this kind of middle area too. This is very narrow too. Like, as a CT who holds his upper right here, you can easily get kind of smoked off from holding it. I mean, you do have a few peaks into it, but... Maybe a CT, like, if a T pushes a smoke right here, that covers, eh, not really. You probably position it to where it can cover both of them, and then maybe a second one to cover that. And then you're fighting a close range port, a uh, close range combat with the CT who covers up here, and then you have pretty much unlimited rain on the side here. I'm wondering where I would play CTs. Um... I would, well, I do one on B because the the entrance is very narrow. It looks very easy to smoke, Molly, whatever. Um, so I'd start one on B. Um, I would probably do two on A just because there's like two entrances, I guess, and they come from different places, sorta. Of. Um, so then I guess at least two CTs left. Um, they'd be playing mid, but. I guess that would leave you a lot of variance in how you want to play mid. So it looks like there's a lot of options for how CTs can choose to play mid. Like you could you could really do like both heaven, both the opposite connectors, one heaven, one connector, both at the same connector. Like it, it seems like you could do a lot of different things in mid, which is really interesting as a CT. Um, usually usually CTs don't have that kind of choice because um, in a lot of maps like <clears throat> if you play f from like. Um, like in Mirage, for example, if you play from like eight connectors as CT, um, it's super easy to like just get smoked out. But even then, like you would have a you would almost always have another CT mid. You wouldn't really most of the time probably ever have one CT mid, which I think adds a lot of like dynamic stuff as to how that works, which is really interesting to me. Otherwise, though, I don't think I have too much. The sites look pretty standard for the most part. There's this death pit on B, which is... Not standard. Interesting, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it would come into effect that much, just because it looks like it's just like... Oh, you could use like, it as coverage. You hide it, it, just, it, just catch, it just catches you as, like, if you accidentally miss this jump onto this balcony here, I guess, which... Uh, 
almost probably seems like it would happen once in a blue moon, so. The sights themselves look pretty, um, I don't know. I don't see a lot of, like, question marks I have about the sites, I think. Maybe retakes could be very interesting, though, because there's, there's a lot of different places to come from. But, um, the timings don't look that bad either. So, that could be really interesting, though. And uh, that could be, like, how that's balanced out. I'll say that the connectors feel very powerful for what they offer, because for B, you get two actual options. Unless, it's, unless you get a... We, we, I probably could see happening is that this is a very narrow entrance for T to go through, even if it's a very short and small bombsite area. So you probably have a second CT kind of playing this connector area and helping out mid, because T's would get two options if they take this area. So one would be a flank into B, or just they could even over all the way into A or something. Or your second option would be a direct different look into a bombsite B here. Yeah, so with it being so small, I can definitely see a second CT player playing this con area. And then for A, like what I mentioned is that it's, the CT who probably needs to always be up here to kind of try to plant this area right here because you're not getting too much cover with bombs at A or not getting too much dynamic cover I'd say. Your different long range guy would be up here and then he'd probably also be helping out mid. So I'd, I'd be really curious to see how mid plays because with I feel like you always need a CT covering kind of near the con areas. So would T's be kind of shut down at mid? Would they get R in mid? Could they get the connectors? Because you, you could be dealing up to three here. Thing where you go, because no matter where you go, you're always going to be in engagement. Any of the cons, or going up to CT spawn here. So I'd be really interested to see how that plays out. But yeah, overall, it's pretty kind of it's pretty easy to understand how it's going to go. It's just mid is the big question mark. Mm -hmm. and, I, and even if even if you understand how it goes, that doesn't mean that like you know how every round is going to play yeah. out, which I think is the mid contributes a lot to that, which is really interesting. Yeah. I don't have anything else to add, add though. Neither do I. You're ready for that, Smith. All right. Next map is Rosehip by, um, on, by Estami. <clears throat> In a crash. I just stretched so hard that my headphones fell off. That's so wacky and quirky of you, Kale. Yeah, it is, dude. Just like you crashing. Oh, my God. I'm waiting for Chief. Oh, I How long does it take to start your game, bro? How long does it take for you to uh uh, uh twitch that get bitches? Yes. <laughs> Could have literally just said get some bitches. But that's so standard, so I wanna try to spin new right. <laughs> okay, this seems very uh, some of it's routing, but we got a horizontal mid, which is interesting. Let's start going to A here. Like a stacked horizontal mid. Well, not really. Well, the underground almost is, but the top part isn't. I well, got a fun fact ground. for this round. What's, What's your fun fact? fact? Uh, the mapper named it Rose Ship because he really likes Rose Ship soup. <laughs> That's it. Nice. It's a soup? Yeah, it's a soup. Nordic rose hip soup. It is a Swedish soup made from rose hips. It is served as a beverage or a dessert with milk, cream, or vanilla. Or vanilla ice cream with small almond biscuits. Some eat up for breakfast. Oh, I was reading it as rose ship. Um, no, it's rose hip. I'm retarded. <laughs> um...
trying to think here. Um, so, okay, so A has three entrances, but one is from mid. Oh, wait, it's from lower mid. Okay, that means that actually changes a lot because... Okay, so you definitely... I feel like you definitely need at least two A, um, <clears throat> but you've got two mids. So where would where would I even play CTs here? Uh, I'd play one up here. Uh, it's not a lot of cover though, so this might be kind of hard for T's. How do you actually get to lower mid? Oh, here's a lower path. So this would be a con, I guess. So can CTs not hold this? Oh wait. Well, it's a direct con to B, but not to A. So the lower part just leads to both the sites and top mid. So basically, at the upper mid, you just have to make sure they don't cross to this pathway here to get to the lower mid. Trying to figure this out, so... You might as well just play mid from the sites at that point. No, because, because then you point. could flank. Yeah, you have the CC flank option. I so mean, you yeah, would only put one it, it, mid, top mid, I guess. So it looks like there's no super easy way for CTs to hold bottom mid except for like playing from B, but that timing might not work. I don't know. I'd have to test that timing, so I don't really know. But um, okay, so I play. You could probably get away with playing one on B. The choke point looks a little big, so you might not be able to hold it yourself because you can't smoke it. Um. So you might need two CTs at B. Uh, I, I definitely think you need two CTs at A. You probably need one top mid. So, so I guess the you're almost forced for like the second B player to be like playing the connector to lower mid and then like fill to B main. I guess. Mm, I'd be more concerned about A side with how good play that. Hey, you said two A, but I'm concerned that. Three well, entrances, but the con. You you, as a baseline, you only need two. The third entrance is only used if they pass through lower mid. Which, if the B player is holding it, then it's not an issue. But yeah. I'll be all the way down here. Okay, so you have to go all the way for B. Okay, I can see what you mean by B player. Okay. So you're essentially just sending one to top mid, one to bottom mid. Then one left over for B, then two for A. Okay. I'm trying to get how it works a little bit better. Rotation seems fine. It's a little long going for T. Alright, bomb would blow up if you go for T. I'd be really interested to see how both the mids kind of play out, but I think you're kind of you kind of see that the one of the players at B and just holds this lower while having the top guy at C or the top guy at C T mid. So I'd be interested that if you lose one of them, then that kind of opens up the map quite a bit. Would it be a flank? Would it be one of the cons getting access? It'd be really interesting to see. Yeah, nothing too I do like the way. idea. I do like the idea of like the the one mid going one direction, the other mid going another direction. I, my main concern though is it seems hard to hold as a CT. Like maybe not the individual places don't seem hard to hold, but it's like everything in combination almost seems hard to hold um, with five CTs. That's what it seems like at least, and a lot of that could impact could be impacted by the timings, which I don't really know. So, I can't say for sure, but that's how it seems like right now. I don't think in general I have really anything else I could call out here, because I think a lot of the areas themselves are simple, but I think um, when used in conjunction, they turn into more complex things, which is going to depend a lot on like rotations and stuff, so I don't really know if there's much else I can say about it. <clears throat> yeah, neither do I. All right, we can move on to the next map.
All right. Um, this next map Rumhilt. is called what? Rumhilt. Did I skip one? Yeah, I did. Aha. I skipped Rumhilt. I got you, dude. <laughs> oh, this one Thanks, has Kip. no lighting on it. Or Doesn't all matter. The textures We're are missing. I think all the textures are missing. But oh, well, oh, we'll go back to Rumhilt. Crazy. Give it a second. Alright. So I think this is the map that changed its name, right? Um, so it's called this Komodo. is... So this is... It was submitted as Rumhilt, but he changed the name to Komoshio. Okay. This is apparently this guy's third map, so... Okay. He says it sucks. This is by Slacky. Yes. Sorry, I'm eating pizza. Understood. Still won't share. I just ate all you of You run on my hill till I commotio. <laughs> True. Oh, okay, so... Looks like there's two main entrances to B. One is from mid, though. Looks like T's get that, though. No, not necessarily. Okay. So... Oh no! Wait, though no, they can't get that. So you would you would definitely need to be. Um, mid is very flat. Really, I'm wishing there was some CT cover because I'm not sure where you'd play this from because T's can effectively get this route. Um, so I guess you'd probably be playing from like this headshot angle maybe, but I think it's only gonna get you so far. Um, but for A, is down here in this pit. What are the yeah, entrances like here? So they either have to go through mid or go through this like upper balcony thing. Oh wow, this is a big site. Where did where would CTs even play? Um, I think because this upper balcony covers the entire area. We got the molly up. So that's gonna create a it's gonna create a ton of headshot angles. I can immediately see, and I, it almost seems like half the site is immediately blocked off from being able to play in because you have this huge angle in the mid. So I feel like you have to play up so that you don't get shot in the back by people from mid, um, which is just gonna create more headshot angles. I think. Um, you cut off the <clears> too, <throat> and everything. This upper balcony is pretty powerful. Another powerful thing was B site. From the looks of it, unless the timing is really weird that I'm not seeing it, T's also just get this kind of ankle right here. So this is a. They can also just smoke it, just run into mid. Yeah. Like. Because so... your main mid engagement's right here, right? This is the initial or intended mid engagement right here. And then you just have a quick one to the left or a split into A-site. Then boom, you're already getting a huge different angle. Yeah, both cons, quote-unquote, even though the T1 for B is free, you get almost a 90 degree difference in angles. Because you get the one upper balcony, which is super powerful. So you have to like spam mollies or smokes or something to keep the T's from taking it. Or from the T's utilizing it. Otherwise, a quick smoke and run to the left, you're getting a 90 degree difference right here. And the one that T's get for free right here is a 90 degree difference, and you can't exactly smoke that, because, I mean, T's would probably smoke that, so you can't volley, is what I'm saying here. So both T entrances are just giant, kind of like overlooking angles into a vast area, in which T's don't have much cover to utilize. So, this definitely, this really does seem like a very powerful map for T's to utilize. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Looks like there's a lot of easy T control. Not a lot to see T's can do about it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, I do wish there was a lot more cover for CTs around the map, particularly mid and back of A. Um. And I almost, I, I do wish there was like a level 
entrance to A, that's not mid. Like, I, it, it feels weird having the only main entrance to a site be, like, the like a drop-down. Like, that just seems weird to me. Um, like, because you can't really clear these left angles. Well, you kind of can, but you're really exposed. You can't, you probably can't clear this back corner either. Um, Chief, can you sit as far back there as you can? No. Uh, if I peek right out here, I can see you, but I'm, like burning so much time where people could be rotating so yeah it, it seems weird that um you basically have to drop down to clear absolutely everything um yeah that just seems weird to me but uh i don't think there's much else i can comment on without playing it yeah that's all i got okie dokie so all right moving on to some Set, yep, set, and set unfortunately, it? as you saw, you got a preview of that last time. This is by um, MHT, um, by the way. Nice. Oh, it appears the next two maps are actually broken. So Both this one's broken with no textures. Next one, according to a guy in chat, said the maker forgot to include the T-spawns. Oh, Lord. Yes, that oh. is true. I think there's only like two spawns on that map. Or, or no, the CT spawns are there. Okay, so... As you can see from this map, we can't see anything because the textures are not packed. So, yeah. Which is kind of strange, to be honest, since you're using a gray box competition. I don't know why you need custom textures. Yeah, it's not one yeah, of the these uh, are things I would put Confirmed. Here. Not packed. So, I mean, I can't really look at anything because I can't see anything, though. So, um... Massive L, sorry, bro. Seems interesting from the radar, but uh, I can't, I can't see anything. So, I don't know. Do you have anything else that you can say about this, Chief? Uh, judging by if we open up the radar here, uh, we can definitely see the uh, 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 damn, uh, uh, damn, uh, uh, next map. Very sorry yeah. that there were no textures, but we can look at it. So on to the next one, which is also broken to an extent. Uh, but the map <laughs> itself functions. There's just not enough spawns. The terrorist spawns are in the ground. Yeah. Oof. All right. This is Sampo by um Tim Timur or Timur. Judge asked if we could have done Fulbright on the last map. I don't think that would have. Helped. No, it wouldn't work. Yeah. Because. Yeah. Because the issue isn't the lighting, the issue is the there's no surface for it to even put, yeah. there's, yeah, there's no surface, for, like, it's already full bright, basically, and it's black, so black shows as black, so. And black on black on black is impossible to read. Yeah, there's no, there's no, like, contour to anything, so you can't see anything. Okay, but we are on Sampo now, which has no T-spawns, which is very unfortunate, so we're not going to actually be able to playtest it, but uh, we can at least look at it. Just give me a bit of feedback. Maybe can't tunnel. It's actually the way to get through mid. There's lots of height variation, I gotta say that. Steep mm -hmm. ass stairs. Is it button? Is there an elevator on this map? Yeah. Oh, it's pretty cool. Right here. So, uh, how about the Dodger? Oh. Well, there's barely any cover on both of the sides. That's that. I'm still trying to find my way around. Short. Under BK. Yeah, definitely the heights are a bit extreme. Let me go from where's where is Teach One supposed to be? Alright, maybe this will be a better better to understand. Alright, go to B, get to Why did you feel here. the need to make this buy zone a circle? Oh actually I said this That's a good question. I don't know why the buy zone is a circle. Oh, so the bomb site's up here, and your initial route is going underneath it. So B is, uh, interesting, because there's a ladder. Like, this is, uh, wow, this would not be fun to get killed from. 
Is this a free rotation? Yeah, this is a free rotation into a different angle on the A side. So you would probably need a CT player, probably from A side, to come all the way through here and hold it like halfway through. So that's kind of interesting. Unless I the like... timing is good enough for them to go through B to get down here. I think it's really cool that you have like this big surf area down towards mid or whatever from A site. I think that's really cool. Yeah, that, that is cool, but I'm not sure what it actually means. Because I, I think CTs locations. are basically always going to control all of this area. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think... I guess unless it. T's run under here, but I'm not really sure why they would I do that. I think it means you can go. get to heaven quicker. Which, Which heaven? Cool. Uh, B heaven. You could just slide down here and get towards mid. Yeah, I mean it does, which also probably seems like it makes it really hard to hold B. Like, I guess you play from down here, I guess? I'm not sure. That's very one-dimensional, you can't- it's really hard to get out of here, I guess. Like... Hmm. ABP says there was a, a surprise waiting on his map if we toggle the triggers. So oh, we... did he have something made out of trigger? Yeah, we might have missed a plane. Unfortunately, AVP, you marked your sights too well, so we didn't have to do that. So I'm very sorry. Yeah, you should have made your map intentionally bad. bad. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know if I have much to say because I feel like this mid is so weird that I would have to play it because I really have no idea what's going on, but or like I don't really know what would happen. But we also can't play it, so I really don't know what to say. Mid's weird, B, the angles are extremely weird with that three, like, gear elevation, and A is actually kind of more standard on how to play that. And there's not too much really to say about this one. Alright. Alright then. Moving on. Sassy, right? Yep, next map is Sassy by Sassy. Dutch Crazy Gamer. Dassy Amagus. Nice. I think he's in the <laughs> chat right now, so that's pretty cool. Hug. I need you to move pretty quick, Dark. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. This All right. I'm looking at the radar. It looks like there's a lot. Let's see. But let's see what this actually means. Um. Oh wow, it takes a while to get to. Okay, so there's two main entrances to A if you count this jumpy part, and then there's this mid entrance which You're definitely gonna get tagged oh, wow. and fall down there. A lot of mid. How I'm curious how long this rotation is. Let's see, okay, I'm starting at twenty five. Somebody's asking if that guy updated his map to fix the spawns, if we would play test it even no. though it would get disqualified. No, you cannot update. Yeah. It'll just be completely disqualified if you update it and we won't um, play test it or we won't even consider play testing it. So don't update your maps, please. You can update description and images and stuff, but don't update the actual BSP. Yeah. If you want that map to get play tested, Fix it after the competition and then submit it for a playtest. Yep. That is what you would have to do. Alright, um... I think two so I'm are kind of... Eight side, I'd say. Yeah, my, my first, like, thing I'm noticing is it seems like I don't really know how you would hold mid, because there's, like, two mids. Oh yeah, there is. And then B itself has two entrances as well, for the most part. Well, there, there's a squeaky, but it's still effectively two entrances, because you can't hold both at the same time. Um, and it's like... You can smoke this, though, but smoking this just means they can just go balcony. Squink said we could just add uh, to the Z value on the spawns using the inspy. We could do that, but we are not going to do that. Alright. Because... The rules did say that you need to have spawns, and unfortunately, we will not be adding spawns for you. Um, I'm very sorry. But moving on to this map, again. Um, I'll stop talking about it. I don't 
really see how you would hold B with only one CT. Um, because I feel like yeah, this is a very even if you just smoke, even if you just smoked them out, like it's still hard, and that they could still just push the smoke anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, so I mean, if if you have two B, two A, that would be one mid, which. One person can definitely not hold both of these routes. Yeah, I think your second A guy, I mean, this is a pretty small site. I don't think it's that too much of an issue to have one guy initially hold this area. And you could probably guy... do it with one person, but I, I think you would ideally want to... Because if you're playing Heaven, you'd have to watch both of these, because somebody could swing you from this left side here, right? So, like... I don't think I don't think you can reasonably hold both of those at once, even though, like, this will probably be less used. Somebody could still swing you from there. Um... Cool. I'd say because it's a crouch thing, maybe like they see a smoke or something, because they would have to use a smoke just to kind of access this area. And then you say, hey, the mid guy needs to kind of come over here, but then that causes the empty space right there. It does seem kind of an issue. It, it, it seems like, just my first instinct is that it seems like there's too many places that T's can come from. Um, yeah. Like, there's mid, like if, if, if one CT could watch both of these like mid connectors, then maybe, but they can't. Like, it's just not possible because they're like 90 degrees separated, right? So. Like the only place you could play is here, but you can't. They could get into A, so that means A effectively has another entrance. Um, so if you did play one A, which I don't really think that would be effective, but if you did, then you could play one here and I guess maybe fast peek to A, but I don't know. It's, it, it seems like another case of like that other map where um, if one CT dies, it almost seems like it's all going to fall apart just because there's like, there's not much, you can't really, it doesn't seem like you can play other areas from other areas, if that makes any sense. Like, it seems like if one CT dies, especially in mid, like, you could just flank the whole map, right? And it's like, there's nothing you can do, because you also have to watch main, because there's so many routes. Um, so just my, my first instinct is that it just seems like um, would it would be very CTs hard for CTs. To have a fair value, basically. Maybe, but also maybe that, like, it just makes it so easy to to fall apart for CTs, like even if they aren't even really doing anything wrong. But I'm not really sure without playing it because I think the sites themselves could be interesting, especially A with this like jump around thing that does seem interesting because it allows you to swing without even jumping. But um, B seems a lot more um, <laughs> standard, but. Um, it does still allow you to use utility, which is really nice, because I know some maps, like, they have, like, these sites that have multiple entrances, but they also don't allow you to use utility, but this one does, which is really nice, and it also has the sound cube for upper, so I'm curious, um, I actually am curious how it plays out, but I'm very skeptical that CTs can play it well. What do you got, Chief? You got anything else? No, I think you highlighted the main issue. Just a little bit too much for CTs to hold. Alright, um... We moving on? Yep, I don't think we have anything else here. I think we're moving um, on to Scythe, right? Yep, Scythe is next. And Scythe is by Fizzy. Um... Oh shit, hello Fizzy. The best and his, uh, his, and the server. Uh -oh. I gotta restart. Oh, oh. oh. Alright. We will restart the server and then get back on, get back on it. Well, then this can't be there we go. Let's take a break to thank our sponsor, Pepsi Nitro. Pepsi Nitro. <laughs> you know what? You. you know what? They they can sponsor us. You know, because I had that earlier and that was some good shit. That was really good. Yeah. Can we say we're sponsored when we're actually just trying to get them to sponsor us? That'd be good. Sponsors for the next contest. Please give mm -hmm. me free Nitro Pepsi. Yeah, basically. We'll suck your name on the contest. We'll have an ad break every third map for our next contest. If you give us free Nitro Pepsi. 
I love Nitro Pepsi, it's so good. You're just a Pepsi fanatic, aren't you? I am. Uh, to an extent, but uh, the Nitro one is very good. I had that. It's very good. What the fuck we do is not Pepsi have Nitro? Ni we do not chat. have that thing here. It's a new it's product. Good. Please Google it. It's very good. Alright, server's up. Awesome. Alright, let me change the map here. <sighs> Why don't right. we play this CSC delay? This mage. This map is Scythe by Fizzy, and his description is R R R R R R R R base drop. We're waiting, and that's it. That's a great fucking description. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, let me put on post game. All right, I have played this, Chief. Have you played this before? Nope. I think okay, the... I know you did a lot of play tests on it, so I didn't know if you did. So I'll let you There's go over it first since I have played it. I think the one contest map I ever played tested was probably ABP's uh, one. Saw a few, few maps okay. ago. He has changed it quite a bit since I've played it, though, so. Wasn't it nighttime? It was at one point, yes. I like this B site. I think this is cool. Alright. I have to A, got a little upper. Faster lower part right here. Got a bit of a housecape ramp up here. Just a big door up there. Okay. Got a pit to hold passively. Looks like this is the one entrance outside of the pit connector. You have something called stairs. We have two stairs. Let's walk off. So I assume Steve's can push here, and that's why giving us a little bit of cover right here, but Steve's can use utility right here in defense. The main part will probably be smoking this and then kind of moving around the site and trying to attack around it. So far, it seems like the sites themselves are pretty easy to hold, and mid is the main area that the CTs want to focus on. So there is the mid, or. Okay, no, this has to be the mid choke point. Seems kind of like yeah, a... this is mid. Okay. So, con would be. You got an upper here. I wonder if this is a T route. Yes, this is a T route. Okay. It's a squeaky. So, squeaky to get a little visual kind of heads up real quick if they try to peek out here, so that's pretty interesting. Otherwise, the pond would be directly underneath. Do another thing of like smoke when you try to like quick jump down here or something. I wonder how that would play in. You get a con, another look into the site. Let's see how does it look into this. Here. Covers they work their way up. So CTs will come from here. That's a little bench area too. Okay, so they got like an upper bench area they can hold. Got quite a bit of the bomb set too, but they don't get to uh, eat too much of the T. So the T's actually have a lot of room to work with unless the CTs are good lower. But then T's can be, obviously use a lot of utility here. So they can swarm into sight pretty quickly. And maybe this guy right here can pick one or two people off, but I feel like T's have a fair chance of getting the bomb down here too. I want to see T's about to play me back in this area right here, or play into the con maybe. So he has a lot of options, I'd say. So that's pretty interesting. Let's see, silo con. Pretty separated from that. Uh, mid need and help. You could have a one player from A try to a CT from A try to play here. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, with both entrances, it's it's just a single entrance. But T's as they move up and they advance, with maybe just a single smoke or something, they get more options of cover and different angles they can play through. So you definitely need two for B site. You have your guy up here. It, like it's not even like a one you would need to. It's just one that you might consider having up here. As you get to a pretty good look at the bomb site, but your team advance is pretty far up if you just try to hold it from just right here. So you probably have a more aggressive CT playing over here. Otherwise, you just have your typical guy mid here. And then 2A, but again, small entrance. Maybe you have a second CT over here. So. It doesn't even seem like the cons are necessary to have always a CT player here, so you can definitely change things up here a lot. So, 
I don't feel like every brand would feel the same on how the CTs will hold each area, so I'd say that's pretty interesting. I agree with you there. Why is it part of that? Alright. Yeah, this is definitely one of the... Great. It seems simple enough at the way out, but I think there's a lot of uh, diversity on how CTs can play, so i say that's pretty interesting. Alright, um, I have played this map before. And this is a bit different to where I played it. Um, but whenever I played it, I did I did quite like it. Um, a site, <clears throat> I pl I most uh, on CT side I basically only played A site, and I thought it was okay. Um, it does look like the this has changed a little bit, so I think it looks almost like more intentional for you to play out here as a CT, or either that or that's for retakes. I don't really or for uh, Tisa Hayden. I don't know, I but um. But either way, the site is basically the same since I played it, and um, it was pretty good when I played it. Um, I didn't have too much bad to say about it. I don't think it was like, you know, the most amazing thing ever, but I thought it worked. I thought it was fine. Um, the retake was pretty good, I thought, for the most part. Um, mid was also okay. Um, I don't think... Mid was never used that much when we played. It was basically only ever used for rotations, um, I think. Like, uh, rotating from a thing to lower here um and let me think so wait where does this go okay this is different okay so yeah this is this is very different from when i played b so i have not played this b site at all this is completely different so i'm curious how to play this does look better um last time i played b site had a lot going on and it does look a bit more streamlined here um so yeah the site uh actually never mind that's a kind of a weird resemblance but it does seem a lot improved since i played so i'm interested to try this out um but yeah that's pretty much all i've got here because i kind of know how it plays but i need to play the new version i said all i need to say all right pretty good all around one uh let's move on all right this oh. map is give me a second all right this map is self-storage by disposable cannon fodder that's a lot of syllables and he wants to clarify in the description that there are absolutely no models in the map everything is made of brush all right And I it's a D-E-N-I-S office ripoff. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. So this is U-Haul. And I crashed. Welcome Man, to the club. Why are you guys just crashing 20%? Even the players are brushes. I'm not sure about that one. So Everything why, is a brush. Why are we wanting to blow up a self storage unit? Is now the time we're asking about map floor? Just you're blowing up boxes, remember that as always. That seems pretty small. Yeah, it seems pretty small. Oh, that brush car though. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, the brush cars are pretty sick. It surprisingly actually has a decent amount of negative space, I gotta say. Thought it was gonna be a lot worse. I think Ray Box Contest was the wrong name for this. We should have just called it the Brushwork Contest. Yeah, really. Truth. Got a high dual truck, flickering lights. Got. Okay, bomb sites right here. And on the car, maybe? Just boxes physics. Bomb sites aren't marked well. Kinda sucks. What are glitching those like this? 
Bild. And where's the site? Here. Well, the full rankings of all the maps you released, uh, I'm not sure. I know we're not sure yet. We're not. Right. We're not sure yet how we're going to display their rankings, but uh, we'll we'll decide that once we. Because one of the problems we had talked about was, for maps that are like, maybe like below top twenty or something, the rankings like the specific point breakdown might become pretty meaningless, and it might be like, just a complete toss up really in what order they're in, just because of. It's a gray box and it's incredibly subjective, so is it will probably be very hard for them to actually mean anything, so I'm not sure to what degree we're gonna release all of the rankings yet. Hmm. But we'll see. Look. Uh it appears that there is a very easy out of the map glitch. Yeah, you can just escape the map. You can just jump onto these roofs from the staircase over here. Really? Our draw clip rushes. Oh yeah, there is no clip. Oh, that's on the other side as well. <laughs> yeah, so I'm assuming you aren't supposed to be able to get on the roofs. But you clearly can. Yeah. Well, when you can get on the roofs, you can just get out of the map. Yeah, get this unfair so... advantage from here, you can look at the site. I think that's just an exploit then. A bit of an oopsie. It's a, it's a pretty standard glitch. Yeah, I'd say so myself. Look at the map itself. There's not too much going on. I think you can pretty much deduce to what's going to happen. You got the long route right here where the bomb site is. It's kind of like the left route right here. You got the right route over here, which is kind of like the side path where the bomb site is actually inside the building a little bit. But most of the building serves as kind of like a mid connector area, or I guess a mid and a connector in the same regard. We also have an upper area, which. Okay, that can overlook one of the bump sites. Has a little balcony thing you can look up here for. But that seems like it's it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can pretty much reduce this map to like three different areas very easily. Left, right, and then the mid slash bomb set area in here. Nothing complex going about it. Very simplistic. Got to give this guy props on the theme, similar to the quarry one. He chose a theme where he could put boxes everywhere. True. Even the cars. I'll give you an A plus for dedication for getting all this brushwork. Yeah, true. I don't really have anything to say about the map. I think you basically said everything that I could really say. Yep. Go ahead with the next one. All right. Um. Oh, this map has got a fun thing on it. Um. Okay. What is the sewer? Nope. Wait. It might be. Skipping maps. Yep. It is. Again. Fuck. I skipped two maps. Oh. Uh, Squidski man. Good job, Squidski man. I don't know how I keep doing that. Okay, I changed it, so we might all die. That's fine. And crash. I didn't. Yeah, the, uh, like Switzy said, the issue with ranking every single one of them is that, like, rank 60, if we were to rank all of them, like, you could say, oh, rank 64 had very similar scores to 52, but 52 did this better the way it laid out its green box layout. It's just so much of it, it becomes subjective. It becomes very and, subjective, yeah. yeah. It's just basically, did I enjoy this map more than the other one? And that's even the very... Even the top, even the top yeah. ranking is very subjective, but they're like... It's it's more based on consensus, but the, the mm. problem is like... Like, when you think about maps in general, you know, you have good maps, and you have maps that are like, eh, it's okay, and it's like, whatever, and maps that are like, it's okay, we can't like give points to like the art of it or like any of that so it's like if if we have like you know 20 30 maps that are just like okay it's like it doesn't like the order they're in is basically meaningless because you know it's hard to really differentiate them fun fact this is this guy's second map all right this is exactly. sewer by okay i'm uh, back to or job 
I don't know. I don't know which one it is. You are all winners for submitting a map. True. That's true. true. Obviously. True. Okay, so this has like a stack thing going on here. So the the lower part is like a, a the actual sewer. Um. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah it's pretty cool. Um, what are the actual entrance? Is this an actual entrance or is this just a drop down? Uh, where are you talking? About? On A. Yeah. Okay, so this could be used as an actual entrance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so. I definitely but that seems, want to use it. It seems like it would be really hard to get up here just with all these angles, but you could do it if you wanted. So, we've got one upper entrance here, and. Well, I mean, I guess you could feasibly play one CT here because you would be able to hear them coming probably and you'd see them jumping. But let's see. So. Yeah, small uh, issue. I know you're doing this just because it's brushwork, but having this kind of narrow little gap in between your railings and then also having collisions on them becomes. Or even regards of collisions, it becomes a very oh, hard. Oh, wow, yeah, this does have collisions. Yeah, that sucks. If you yeah, use it's, like, it, just make it a funk it, brush and disable it. This also seems like it would be super easy to play an op here, because you could just op them right through the <laughs> the things, yeah. and then they wouldn't be able to shoot you back. Um, but yeah, so I would probably put two CTs at mid, just because, like... Well, I would probably put actually one from A playing mid, like this connector, and then like one here watching this lower part, just because like you can't really watch both of them with the same CT. Because um, mm. this lower part is, they could just run right up it. Um, so two A site, one. Well, I would I would probably do one A site and then like one connector. this mid, one the A connector. So that's three CTs. So it gives you two CTs to play with. Um, On B site, yeah, and the B site players can also help out with the lower mid. Oh, so they could like flank you almost, depending yeah. on how the. Okay, so yeah, I, I would definitely have. Cool. Yeah. I would definitely have two people B. Um, definitely just because of. There's three entrances to it, but you could probably cover it with two people. Um, huh. And But there, those are the only entrances to be there. There's, like, no upper entrances. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have to cross with. So if there's a CT playing lower mid, actually, they can't, can't cross. Win. Yeah. But then they could get caught in a feed angle, so I'm not really sure how that would go, because I don't know how you would end up playing it. I... Hmm. I think this is kind of technical. I I don't consider this a lower mid. I consider this a B, right here. Like I don't. If I'm playing B, I'm gonna mid. I'm gonna sit right here and play B. You know what I mean? Like this is the entrance to B rather than mid. I feel I like. I see. If you're playing mid, you're way upper, and you're holding this area up here. You know what I mean? It can be easy to hold both at the same time because you can hmm. quickly switch. But like, functionally, I, I feel like they're two different things. Okay. So these mids are definitely two different things, but yeah. um, how you would actually play it, I don't know. I feel like there's actually... I feel like you could switch it up and do it. Interesting... Yeah, really, yeah. I do. Um, I, think really I guess cool. my one concern is um, just since, B, B. Yeah. since B is underground, it seems like it could be kind of difficult just because of, like it's a bit cramped and all the angles are really in close proximity, so... There's not actually, a whole almost... lot of cover either. For this teams. is also a really long angle, but yeah, it, it seems like it could end up being like hurt hurt by the theming a little bit where everything is really small mm. and potentially it could it could feasibly get a little bit annoying to play but that's hard to say without actually playing it that can um always be adjusted though you can always yeah, make no, things a little not, larger and stuff it's not super sure. huge of an issue yeah, i'd have to play this because like it at first glance it seems really simple and like not having any depth at all but i feel like there could actually be a lot a lot of different ways to play the, yeah. the map and how you switch it up yeah, yeah this is pretty cool I, I like it you said you wanted b to be cramped versus being more open i guess no i mean some, i get uh, it yeah and i don't think there's anything wrong with wanting some areas to be cramped but i think you have to know which areas to make the cramp like you don't need to make the entrances well the paths to the entrances necessarily cramped and like the actual site itself cramped but like I, I i get what you're saying and maybe it, maybe it plays fine i don't know but that's just my first thought of from looking at it so i don't know but just another just thing just another thing could be the water like it could mm -hmm. potentially get in the way like i understand it's for theming but i'm curious how how often that would ruin t plays because you basically have to walk everywhere 
Yeah. So I'm curious how that would actually play. It feels like the rest of this lower part is kind of useless though to me. Um, like, even if you I think this are is, going I think, towards A. I think this A part is more intended to be for CTs to drop down to, rather than for T's yeah. to push up, even though it's possible. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a long angle. Yeah, there's quite a few long angles. It's just straight pathways that lead it. Yeah, to I, I actually do want to play that. I want to see how that actually yeah. works out because it seems interesting. I think it might be a little hard for it to use at B, and that's all I really got. Yeah, maybe. Cool for C2s, though. I think there's lots of different ways to play. Yep. Yeah. I don't have anything else to say about this. I said my viewpoints points, and you knew anything else. Alright. This is... This next map is Ship Build by Hyzon. Is the ship being built? I would assume so. Got any fun facts? Nope. Chat, help us out. Let me see if he said anything in the description. I, th I think nope. a large part of this map is supposed to be a ship, actually. Yeah, it is, I think. Yeah. So, a site in... I don't know if this is, like, mid is supposed to be in a cargo ship, I think. I'm gonna say this one. Well, this could be different ships being built. Yeah, I don't it could know. be two ships. I'm not sure. Okay, so what is going on in A? The radar is kind of nuts. So there's yeah. a above and below section for A sites. Oh. Above okay. has all these okay. connecting okay. hallways and complicated routes for the first look of it, but. Where is the plant? So, zone, though? so okay. which it's uh down there. So which one of what what of these routes actually matter? I guess it's the important thing. So. Um, for CTs, this oh, would be if you get to the lower, this would be upper. Where does this actually go? Huh. This would be I first. think this is kind of like your mid here, to be honest. This above A. Well, end. you have... Okay, uh, yeah, I would say that probably is the mid. The problem is there's like three other routes, I think. Because you can come through here and flank B as like So this, this is just another way to get to B. And then you can also drop down here and come to A. Oh, that flanks and there's A. There's also though. a ladder right here too. Wow, there's a lot of entrances to A. Oh yeah. man. So I don't know. Let's see. You got one CT here, one CT here, I guess. Um. It feels like one... this A side of the map. Oh, there's a CT spawn. Yeah. So I guess one CT here. You would need two on B. Oh, no, wait, no, this is B. Oh, okay. Um, You would still need two, though, because there's, like, the window, probably. Um, is this... Oh, yeah, it is an entrance. You might be able to get away with one, but... Oh, oh but then they can flank so... B. I almost feel like just there's... I, just... I feel like you play one B site, one this upper B squeaky area, and then you just throw the rest at A and hope they hold it. <laughs> well, the, the problem know. is it's so easy for them to flank B. Yeah, you have to have somebody sitting like either this upper A and They can also come to the spawn. window, and you can't watch both of those at the same time. Yeah, I don't... Like, I almost feel like there's almost just, like one too many options, at least at first glance, mm -hmm. because... Yeah. I have no idea where I would even play as a CT, because so many approaches and there's even a ladder right here i didn't even know this was here yeah there's okay. a ladder wow yeah there's a lot of options for a i feel like if there was just one less uh, seems that way. oh well, i guess they can't cross this outside if you're watching this yeah okay no yeah, i don't know if that really helps much though because uh, i don't know i'd have to play this but it just mm -hmm. seems overwhelming for cts yeah but i think it's pretty interesting how you have like, it is interesting option through mid or like the upper ship deck mm-hmm I think that's really cool. It would have definitely helped if he textured the side of the ship something different, though. Because I'm kind of lost on trying to figure out where I am. No, I've, I've figured it out now, but I'm yeah. still not sure where CTs would play. Same. But yeah, I think it looks cool. It's kind of like Graveyard, but not complete garbage, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> No comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> I mean, I don't remember that map very well, so. I do not have anything else to say, though. 
Chief, any thoughts? Oh man, if I could go through an entire map without giving my thoughts. Uh, complicated is my first look. So many little different ways to go through each route and flanking obviously seems like an issue. Like for example, the T, the T route to go to B, upper, you have to start going through A, go up a ladder, uh, come up here, deal with a crossing right here mid, then go through here, up the staircase, turn around here, deal with another choke point, and then you get looking to B as your alternate angle. Otherwise, just come through down here. Then you can maybe just go up here and jump up here. It's a lot of little complicated things. Then yeah, we I look think at the path a, could definitely be streamlined. A upper just seems completely dominated by CTs, I guess. Because your one T route takes a while, CTs can get far up, but... Complicated is my word for this map, but... Some things make sense, and some things, while they make sense, don't seem like they work out too, too well. It's hard for me to say for suppression here. This one's a bit tough. Is that all, then? One last thing. I'm trying to find mid. Was it upper? Mid is, like, almost like this upper A is yeah, almost, like, mid. Yeah, that's what we were talking about, yeah. Okay, you consider that upper. I'll I, be I would consider that. this mid, probably. Okay, yeah, I don't have much to say. Alright. Alright then, next map. Um, this map... <clears throat> this next map, which I, is what I originally changed it to, this is Shrug by Dash Slash Boy. Alright. Return of the yellow bomb sites. The piss bomb sites. Hey. Does this have a 3D Skybox? Let me cheat one. Uh, what server are we going to be playtesting on? I have no idea. Might be the move to do it on your server. Uh, I only have six slots. Oh. <laughs> Forgot about that. Aren't you eventually going to... Uh, did we need a rotating dick for our bomb site? Great if yes, you ask we me. do. This is the best edition. Gives uh, a character. It's a landmark chief. Do you know anything about landmarks? Yeah, just you know, you normally don't. Yeah. Uh. Uh, okay. All right. Going to blow up the statue here at a site. B site. A wide open area. Get a few pieces of cover. All there's two entrances to B. Well, not counting mid, but. It's supposed to be a boost spot. Oh, wait. Can you not actually get there? Oh, no, you can't. Okay, so there's only one entrance. Unless you can boost over it? I don't know what the I mean, you can probably. You can boost, but I don't think you can get. No, you can't get through it. You can just. You can just look. Okay. Look at quite a bit. You can see a small section of bombs, but you get it. Side so there's one entrance though, so you could feasibly do this with one CT, not counting mid, because you can just hide close. Watch you have upper. to drop down too, that's a bigger issue. While you get the height of the peak right there, you have to drop down. Okay, so how does mid work? Okay, mid is kind of big. Deep, Kobe. It is very large. There's some, some very nicely placed cover though right in the middle of it, so you could hide behind it. Jesus, why don't I get two for both teams, I'd say. Did you guys see this boost from B main? Yeah. Yes. Okay, sorry. I just kind of tuned back. So, as a T, you can't get up there unless you run all the way behind B. Okay, so... The... I, I almost instinctively am wishing that the lower mid CT had more cover to play around um, down here. But oh, yeah. they also could just play from up here if they wanted. Um, it looks like they can easily get up here. Yeah, okay, they can. So it looks like the mid CT does have options. What about A? Okay, so A has two entrances, so you'd probably want at least two people here. So if you have two A and one B, so that means you could have, you actually have two CTs playing mid. 
mid. Actually, yeah, you would want two CTs playing mid. You'd want one like down here and one like either over here or up here at this balcony to fight those people. Okay, that's actually interesting that like both sides have their own mid balcony, but they're not even like at the ends. They're like on the sides. Huh. AC mid balcony. It's interesting. Okay, so this is a true con. Unless yeah, CTs needs to access to this. So CTs get this. I feel like CTs get actually the Acon more than that. So yeah, they're like they're like opposing balconies, but they're like on the sides, not yeah. even like across, which is interesting. It's also this one over here too. I see. Different yeah. So the so this so the second mid CT could either play from like down there or up here, which is interesting. And then you'd probably want one down there as well. So you'd have two CTs in mid, I would say. Yeah. At that point, you have to go all the way to the end of the mid just to access one of them. At that point, I'd say, I don't know, mid maybe might be a little bit less desirable for T's. I'm not sure. Outside of like getting one of the CTs killed, obviously, do you fully commit to taking mid? Is the question there? Okay, two entrances for A. I say I think you would have to for B, just because while you do get the height advantage here, you still have to drop down into the area and still then get to site. And you don't you're not exactly working with much cover as a T. So the one like... I, I don't mind it, but I think the one important thing to note is that if you decide not to, the rotation time looks mega long, which is like for a for a route that's hard that looks hard to get into, it seems Almost not great to also have a long rotate away from it. Yeah, okay. Seeing that, I think at this point you do have to kind of decide to either mass push B all at once with a single entrance, or the more strategic way would actually to be split and try to take mid all together. While doing with that, it's possibly up or there. Maybe you can try to boost up to the B balcony there, or commit all the way to the end of mid and go through B to flank CTs through B. Bit tough. I'm interested to see how the mid pans out. <clears throat> I like that he's got these like metal grates on the ground, which I am assuming, yeah, they make metal footstep sounds, which is interesting. Interesting. I'm saying it seemed very. Uh, where, I, uh, where that rhymes with, uh, Bandard. Yeah. For the Is most part, standard? yeah. Um, I like, like, A, the entrances seem kind of not standard, though, but the actual site itself does a little bit. It is bigger than normal, though, which is interesting. Uh, am I going to play a test? Or am I going to stream the play test? I might do one, uh, one day of the play test. I probably won't, I definitely won't do all of them, but maybe one or two days I will. Still not decided. Yeah, yeah so uh, and I was, so, somebody asked me in SE, um, it was either this morning or last night, but um, the playtest might actually not be as interesting as you think they might be, just because we're not going to be like, you know, giving feedback, like we're just going to be playing them and then like, probably just writing down our own notes and then going on to the next one, like, mm -hmm. it's mostly just going to be us playing them and it probably won't be that interesting. Um, so yeah. I said people don't watch over their own ads, but we'd have to see. Yeah, censor, censor this. All right. Dude, that's art, dude. Why are you censoring art? Your definition. Of art I, I, however, do not have anything to uh, say just because I would like to see how the mid plays first. Mm -hmm. I agree there. But yeah, I'm also. That's all I got to. All right, move on. Our next map is Spire by T Rexer. Um, it is in a mega tall tower in an unspecified rich Middle Eastern country. Is this the fidget spinner? Oh, it's the fidget spinner. Right. The cough cough bird. <laughs> All right, I've never seen this map outside of the radar images that he tweets out. All right, we are finally inside the fidget spinner. Be sure as fast as we can be. Thank you very much, Sturgis. Yo, there's a T Rex. 
Wow, this elevator is open for no reason. <laughs> yeah, I thought there would be a safe spot. Hey, T Rex was in chat. What's going Jump on, buddy? I'm over railing to get to A. I, I remember him complaining about how playtesters wouldn't do this or something, so he added a uh, note here. Okay. No. Can't we have to jump into the quick pond without any equal? So. Imagine being in the tallest building and not having a death pit this So, T's don't get this. Inside the building. Wait. Okay, let me start this over one. here. Oh, okay, they can't. Alright, two ways. Mid, okay. Yeah, he, he would put the instructions what to do. <laughs> oh, okay, so. T Rexer deserves like t plus 10 points. Because I've seen him working on this VMF and it looks like complete AIDS. Okay, so this looks very easily flinkable for T's, like they could flank. So, I feel like I would definitely want at least two people on A. Um, just because T's can very easily get down here. Um, or either the second person is like playing right here, maybe. Um, yeah, where do T's come from? Hmm. Nice T-Rex. Right. So this this is A main here. This is a pretty straightforward path um, to A. And this is lower mid. Oh, but CTs can be up here though. Oh, maybe the maybe that other A player would actually play here. Well, since they can't boost, you could probably play whichever one you want. So I guess that would give you some variation how you want to do it. Um, what does B look like? So Hello. B has high select. So B has effectively one entrance, um, but they could be up here, and you can see over the smoke. Okay, so get quite the only, uh, depth up here. So that, that only stops the smoke only stops rushes. It looks like it doesn't necessarily stop them from shooting you over the smoke. Um, but you could probably. Hold this with one person, maybe you'd just want two. So, let's see, what, what would I do? I would probably... So I guess you could even just do two, two A, two B, and then one at either the upper mid window or lower mid, and then he just chooses where he wants to play, I guess. Or you could probably pull, you could probably easily pull one off of B and play the window and then just fast rotate to B if needed. Let me discover mid real quick. I have not yet. Alright, got a top mid when is this thing counter right here? Looks like it. See up in the middle? Okay. It it does seem interesting in that it allows you to also it's another one of the maps that allows you to really choose how you want to distribute CTs, because it looks like there's not one way to do it. It looks like there's multiple ways to do it, and then you could also just change between rounds, which is interesting. The pathing was initially complicated, but I think I've got it figured out now, and it seems to make sense in my head now. I'm still trying to figure out, is there a lower mid encounter? This is lower mid. Uh, I think this is it right here, where uh, the CTs can either be up there or um, they can jump down this elevator. So there's no B connector then? Lower oh wait, or I think they might be able to boost up here. You want to test them? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so T's can boost up there, which is interesting. But that'll, that'll probably not happen super often. Uh, there is, there, what do you mean B connector, Kale? Like from mid. Um, I think the intention is for you to wrap around, um, this way, or just run up back towards B main, is what it looks like. Alright then. Yeah, this looks cool. It's my favorite map. Uh, Judge your playing favorites. Favorite. All right, you heard her here first, folks. Yeah, this is one that I'm more interested to play because it. This is probably. I don't know if it's the most unique, but it's like, um, because I mean, you know, you you know, what unique means, but like, um, it's like, he, like taking its uniqueness heavily, like leaning into the theme, which is very interesting, and only a couple maps have done that at all, and I think this is. Probably like the one doing it the most, I would say. 
Um, but it does still feel like a like a CS map. Like I feel like I could almost like like I like I feel like I've learned it already. Like I've you know I found the choke points and the like the mid. Like I feel like I figured it out already. Well, at least the layout. I want to say that too. Like I feel like I understood some of the choke points and layouts, but I think this is one of the few maps of the contest so far where I don't feel like I should I can say too much about because I really prefer playtesting this. Instead of giving mm -hmm. my opinion on what I feel like, what it, what might happen. No, definitely. I, I, this is definitely one that will need to be playtested. Like, absolutely. Because there's a lot going on. It's just, yeah, I just don't have a lot to say, but I think you hit a lot of points. Yeah, I am interested because I think there's a lot of different ways it could go. So I do want to try it. <clears throat> But that is all I have to say about this. After the first playtest on this map, I wrote a note to myself saying it's the most fun I've ever had on a 5v5 map. Looks like Slumix never played a D in this office, but... Uh, okay. Honest. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Post. Shot map. Alright, let's move on. Um, this Splintered. next map is Splintered, and it is by... Splintered. It is by Grandy. Uh, to answer your question, Lacey, unless someone did it already, uh, a lot of these maps we've been playing throughout this uh, both streams have been placed through SE, and there have been judges who get to be particip participants, but they're never allowed to give feedback during those uh, post play tests. Yep. So some of us have played a couple of the maps, but that is the extent of it. We've not influenced them other than just playing the maps. All right. I'm sure we got a little, I don't know, big truck or something back here. On the There's back. a lot going on here already, which is interesting. He's going to go to... Down there or up there, you would definitely need at least like 2B. Like, you'd probably need one up here fighting this balcony or helping down here or pushing up, I guess. So, yeah, I would definitely have 2B. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, it is interesting. What's going on here? Oh, I'm not sure about that. It looks like it looks like if T's push up mid here. How do you actually get here? Yeah, okay, so if T's push up through mid here, it looks like they can mostly push into this mid character without peeking the mid CT, which seems very dangerous. Well, unless the mid CT plays here, but I guess they wouldn't know if they cross then because they wouldn't hear anything. Yeah, kind of very huh. safe for CTs, and it's more about B clown, which is technically all behind this wall, so question Like, is they don't even have to peek the mid CT up. if the mid CT's. Unless the mid CT's playing here. They won't even be able to see the T's cross if they come from yeah. that left entrance. Yeah, that's true. I think the CTs have to play that far up. Um, A. <laughs> how many entrances are there actually to A? There's like, this is almost this is almost technically two, but you could um, you could yeah. you could probably hold this from the same place. Um, yeah, then down here for CT. So so I would I would definitely have two people on A. I don't really think that you could hold this without it. Um, so that, and then I would also have two on B. So where does the mid player play? Yeah, that's the awkward I, part. It, my first we're... my first instinct is it doesn't look like there's a really one good spot for the mid player to play. Um, because it would be so easy for the T's to push here, which maybe the B balk player could catch, but they could also just flank A, and it's like, huh, where where does that mid player play? Yeah, I think you have to force someone to be through the cons, or kind of like play between a con and another area of the map. So would that be the B guy, or would that be the A guy? For me, I'd probably do the B guy, because if you have one person in the upper balcony kind of holding that area, then this guy can switch between the lower pathway and then the con, but you just have a quite a 
bit of distance to move, and I just realized he can't. This is a one-way truck. All right. And maybe not then. I don't know why that's a one-way drop, but it's there. So maybe an Acon guy can try. Or just kind of come in from again. Or basically, your mid guy's already playing right next to the Acon, so... What do you do? Do you have someone go super aggressive? Do you have your mid guy technically... Well, you can't... Again, you can't jump up there from Con. Mid's really in a tough spot here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I don't... I can't really think of a way to play it where mid is not, like... Very hard to hold as a CP. So maybe you smoke yourself, advance all the way into the entryway, and then try to hold it through here. That only buys you about 30 seconds, though, which is, like, nothing compared to how short these rotations look. Yeah. Never looked so much at A-Site. A-Site seems very far back. For everything, all the space around A-Site and everything, it's kind of strange that, I think with B-Site, too, that... On sites in the very back, so you're basically killing off all the CTs there about giving, I'm not saying not, not a chance or anything, but like a uh, way to say that, like, okay, you can risk a plant here, but then you have to also wait for, you also have to mine CTs. Like, by the time you get to the bomb site, unless you're hiding behind like one final entrance, you're basically, you clear the site and then some. You got this little upper balcony, CTs can maybe hide through, but. It's definitely far back in the bomb site area. I don't know. I think the main giant issue is mid. Seems that way to me too. Without playing it at least. Yes. I don't have anything else to add though. <clears throat> Neither do I. Oh, I did, I did want to say, I think B-Site seems really cool, though. Um, I like the, like, upper, the raised entrance to it. Um, I really thought that was cool. Um, a is a bigger question mark to me, so I'd have to play it, so I don't know. But that was it. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go to the next map. This next map is Straka by Avernus. What map are we on, uh, Switsky? Uh, oh, Straka. Sorry, I'm the Uh, after this map, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more maps after this one. Alright, so we're in our attempt to Counting with Squidski on Twitch. Hell yeah. Let's go. Jumping over to A site. A site appears to be in the void, but I assume that's a double map. Yes, okay. CTs, you got come out here, then you can go through this left route from the looks of it. Play down inside, move up over to facing the mid connector, yes. Okay, so A is like a huge height difference. Not huge, but it's not too huge, but yeah. very notice like a very it'll definitely come into play. Huh. See, the immediate thing I'm noticing is the bomb site is really far up, so you don't necessarily have to clear much. It looks like you could just, like, bam, 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 is what it looks like to me, at least. There's, like, a double level here? Okay, so the lower level is just for the main entrance and, like, this balcony type thing but the upper part is for this other balcony but CTs would probably get control of that huh you guys okay, I need to look at the other parts of the map so I can see where CTs would actually play um okay so mid is like okay so I mean you'd either go up the stairs or you'd either go up the stairs or go lower uh, but all right. in either case, it looks like you can easily use utility to little go to whichever one you want. Just two minutes we got going on. A little bit, yeah. A bit of a cross right there too. But it's almost like a like a reverse dust two mid almost, which is interesting. Um, what does B look like? 
B is really interesting, actually. I like the this cover placement is really interesting because like you got all these pillars, but they're like really spread apart from the entrances. So there's like there's a balcony that's only available from no, because then they can come through lower and get here. Huh. So then you would still probably need two CTs on B at least. Is this the upper? So you need at least one mid. That gives you two CTs left. You would, and then you would probably, I would wager you'd need the other two on A at least. But then they could they could easily get here, huh? They could manage to go. It sounds very easy. My first um, my first thing I'm like thinking about is. I almost feel like there wouldn't need to be a lower part. Like I'm, I'm. I mean, I'm sure like it's there for a reason, obviously, and it was added for gameplay reasons. But like, just in my mind, I'm thinking like I almost feel like this could, it could have almost been consolidated into like, not necessarily two levels. Um, huh. I think B would be really tough for CT so hold. You got the main entrance area here; it's pretty wide, and then you got here a second path. You also have a blind spot too right here, so if you're trying to hold like right here, you can't see it, so you have to go all the way to like this cover right here to get this like left side of it. So T's have two upper like entrances that can easily the height advantage on. You can drop down and play like the closer range battle here. Seems a bit tough for CTs. Yeah, I almost feel like there might be just like one too many options for the T's, at least like that's what I'm getting, because I'm not sure really what the CTs should do. Especially since mid seems so easy to at least like just run around in with utility. Um, oh yeah. So, cause like it's so easy to just like half peek this or something and just like does that just smoke top mid? Yeah, it does, and then you could easily run up here, right? So. Box that too, yeah. So it, it seems like um maybe another one of those maps where it's like if one CT falls, it's like you can't just fill because like there's so many places. So. Yeah, my, my first instinct is maybe there's one too many routes here um, for T's, but I would have to play it to know for sure. That's just what I'm thinking from looking at it. Mm -hmm. I do really like the idea of B-Site, though. I'm, I just have no idea how it plays. I like how it's set up, though. Yeah, it's got some interesting looks about it. It definitely does look like a pretty decent layout, it's just the T options just a bit too much. I don't have anything else to say though. Neither do I. Alright. Uh, someone called it a Valorant map. Direct insult. Classic, classic Valorant map. Alright, um... This next map is... Thaw? And it is by Sherrick. Alright, kind of post game. Whoops. I put I put SV chest one. Oh, right. SV cheats one. All right, so this is Thaw. Okay, it's, one thing I'm noticing immediately is the lighting is not doing any favors for the visibility here. Like B site looks like it might be hard to see people because of the lighting. So we're a midnight crowd watching on Twitch. There you go, let me just look at the sky for you, okay. Everything is in really close proximity too, which is interesting. Very close quarters for the most part, it looks like. Definitely. Where's the supper? It's just a different choke point. No, this is T's. Oh, so these are like two different windows. Can you like strafe? Oh yeah, you can. Oh, that's interesting. I feel like it's going to be really dangerous though, and you'd probably almost never be able to do that, but it's still really cool. Get a Zeus. Someone doesn't get a kill here. I, I doubt you would ever probably be able to do that in the match, but it is cool um, having like two separate windows like that that you can jump around. Oh yeah. 
Why is it made to black here? Um. Okay, so mid is. <laughs> cough, cough, pretty standard for the most part. But, um. That is there is this balcony, though, which changes a lot. On C side? No, CT side. Oh, on CT side. Okay. You're on CT, yeah. yeah that's, uh. And then go? Yeah, fall all the way back in there, and then move up. There's one right there. Uncovered. Please. Alright. How fast do they get there? Is it T? T time takes a while. It's a good regard for this. They get a ladder. We will drop down the hole to head back up to B, it looks like. Yeah, I mean, you just neutralize CT force just by using that one move. Because otherwise, you have to go all the way through this B connector right here. And this is a soul B connector. So halfway through, you have to go through the A connector. What does that look like for T's? So I almost feel like you could hold A with one CT, although I wouldn't want to do it. But I think you could, because if they play right here, but like it's so easy for them to just get like domed or opt from this upper part or something. So I, realistically, you would goal. probably want to play two CTs at A. Yeah, but want to play double and goal, yeah. but that doesn't mean you'd have to put one CT in mid, which seems very hard because of how high the balcony is. Um, so I almost feel like this is a map where I almost want six CTs. Um, but that might not be the case because I think there are potentially some angles you could almost hold from the same spot. So that might not actually be the case, but it does potentially seem that way. Um, otherwise, I like the um some of the ideas of like how <clears throat> some of the sites are laid out and how some of the cover. It's not not very um. The word I'm looking for is not standard, it's, um, I don't know, different, but not standard. That's not the word I'm looking for, don't say that. Don't say standard. But, uh, didn't say standard. I don't think I have anything else to say about this. Yeah, I'd say 1A for the initial point right here, you can try to be a little aggressive, otherwise you probably play back in the side, you have plenty of options there. Uh, maybe one guy through this kind of A, con a connector, whether it be for the main route or try to... Hit balcony because balcony is a pretty powerful position right here. So I don't know if your uh, actual mid guy plays that or your eight couple guy plays that. And then two for B just because of how close it is and how easily T's can start just pushing out easily from here. Got the lower entrance down here and then got the little windows right here. Uh, so they probably play one CT up here, then one main, or try to cheeky play up close with the Close range weapon. Be curious to see how you would play out like that. Uh, yeah, you got everything else. That's all I gotta say. All right. Can move on to the next map. In town. Just mm -hmm. we see a standard mid, and the map goes to the bottom of the list. It did be like Based? that. Beast. All right. Um. Yeah. Next map is town. It is by Old City. Wow. <laughs> Town by Old City. Nice. No, but it's with an S. Oh, okay. Alright, so this map has a giant ring in the middle of it. Um, that you can see over. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. This is something. Throwing smoke. Quite a big map. It is quite humongous. Negative space town. Like Negative space town. Are oh. those eggs? All or bushes? Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Just navigate through. Are we blowing up the classroom here? What is going on? Oh wow, what is that rotation time? That's a Okay, so we start at, um start at fifty nine. And I wanna go through C T, let's see. Okay, I have to take damage there.
So that is just about a 20 second rotation time um, <laughs> from CT. It's probably not much. Well, it's probably a little bit faster to go through mid, but it's still at the very upper edge of rotation times. I'll go ahead and say the bomb sites are not very interesting in the slightest. You have a tiny little room with nothing really working for you. Each bomb site has a tiny little heavy room next to it, too. The rotation times are really long. It's very simplistic routes. And I say the most interesting thing would be the super open mid that you can't cross with go around. There's like no cover on either of the sites either. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the, the 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 ring mid is interesting, mostly because it's got all this cover on one side of it, which I feel like that should almost be like also on the other side or something, but or like at least somewhere, so that it's not just you know a complete wide open angle, because like you know that opens like this this massive angle, like all the way across the map here. Or you forget to add the brushes all the way to the ceiling and jump on top of it. Can you actually? Just jump on top of it. Let's try that again. Let's see. Surely it's just my imagination. Yes, you can. <laughs> oh god. Well, to the actual. Yeah, that's just really easy to do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I gotta raise that. Let's go. <laughs> GM Big City is back. Almost. Oh lord, what is this brush for? Uh, that's interesting for uh, clip brushes. <laughs> oh shit! Did he rex your This looks at your screen. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! No! <laughs> Why though? Because it doesn't really matter if clip brushes are overlapping or anything. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but you could have at least made them to say hi. <laughs> no, I, I mean, this is the kind of thing I do, too, because I, I just, like, do whatever with clip brushes. It literally doesn't matter. Hard clip brush. I hope not. No, it doesn't look like it. All right, I don't but it also doesn't sense. actually affect the map at all, so... Yeah. I don't it's have whatever. Who cares? Are we right. moving on? Um, yeah. Next map is Transition by Nikki Pumps. I just so glad we're transitioning to the next map. Sorry, that was a really bad joke. Yeah, I'm sorry. There's a train on this map. Oh boy, I hope it's a train I can get run over by. No, transit, not train station. Transition. Okay, so... So B has two entrances for, well... We have an interesting little corner for A sites, but there's a lot of dead man's land in front of it and around it. So there's a... Not a lot of negative space around B. You're right. Let's see how they're running. Let's run into the spawn. Go through each frame. How do I get out of here? Oh. So A also has two different entrances, so you would definitely need two CTs at A. A spiral mid. You could you could definitely you can definitely do one mid. You don't need two there, but that leaves you with two CTs, and this window is. I feel like the thorn in the side of this, um, well, I guess you could have a CT here, but that basically forces them to also be in charge of this window, I guess. 
And then this like split B long entrance seems like it could be tough whenever you only have one person focused on it. Because they could easily just smoke one side and then just run through. So I'm kind I feel like this could potentially be kind of hard to hold with um, CTs just because of how close proximity all the entrances are and how many of them there are. Maybe tougher CTs, you say? Yeah. <clears throat> just just to, to hold, really, just because of... And I think the biggest reason is because of this window right here. It's so easy for T's to just run up through this window. Um, there was glass here um, that I broke, but... I mean, it also depends on the time, because if it's through the huts, I'm wondering... I imagine you can't get that far up. I was wondering if CTs get all the way up here or something. But yeah, if they can't get that far, I think then so. I see your point. C CT, spawns all the way CT spawns all the way back here. Yeah, I doubt true. they can push they're, up that far. They're both very far, I'd say. Please give the truck some tires next time. All right. <laughs> I assume T's only have the pit entrance, or do they have this upper entrance? Okay, that is upper entrance. Looks pretty dead long in the site and a lot of the area around it. I imagine CTs would have to maybe challenge this, but I'm not sure how far that they get through this area. Yeah, I'm not. I'm still not really sure what you would do about your CT distribution at all. Okay, um, I this is your mid here. Yeah, that, that's mid. That's mid. Okay, pretty close to me. Like you also have a pretty so, easy route to abandon here. Yeah, it seems so. You you really only realistically have one CT at mid. Um, Ooh, and. I feel like since T's get this balcony, that seems like it would almost be really hard to hold mid. Or since T's get that balcony, I mean. I'm a bit worried about this abandoned route, because you already need two for A site, so... If the point is, you this is mid, I'm not sure unless they can push up but further than T's that. T's can also get up here, though. They can come from either of those sites, and they can also get up there. Oh, okay, wow. Yeah, so even and then... You only... Like, at most, you probably only have one CT in mid. Like, this abandoned route's pretty powerful, because this allows you to get all the way to CT spawn. And unless you have a mm -hmm. third person like playing Akon, you can either go Akon or go up this little box to CT spawn. They can choose all the way around A or all the way around B. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about mid there. Yeah, this is pretty powerful. Yeah, it seems like this also might be a case of potentially too many options for terrorists is the first thing that's jumping out at me. Yeah. Cause I'm not really sure where I would put the CTs at at all. But I don't think other than that I have much of anything to say about it. You do it? You got all the points across. Alright. We'll move on to the next one. Um, okay. This map is... Uh, treatment... And it is by Dons Donskiani. It is a water treatment center. Okay, the description says, A water treatment center, alarms go off. Enter stage right, player one. So this will be our second water treatment plant. Uh, at least. I don't know if Pipe Yard was also a water treatment or not. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow, that is a huge entrance to A. Yep. They get all this. Can't this seems very really... disconnected too, doesn't it? Uh, you can't really use any utility here because if you, it's well, that's kind of hard to smoke because it's uphill. But even if you do get it, oh, I guess it's not that hard. Okay. So even if you do get it, T still have this, which it's like there's no way that you can block this. You can boost I mean, you can molly it, I guess, but. 
that only buys you so much time and you can't really Wait, where's mid well, there is no mid unless you I think to... this is mid this is mid right okay here. you can oh, okay you're supposed to be on this card then okay. yep so then this is the main T entrance to mid so the staircase going straight up that's fun mm -hmm. But you can't see, oh, that's interesting, you can't see over to where the car peak is, so you actually have to drop down, that's really interesting. I'll just read a boost and look through the cracks, maybe. Wait, are you just, are you just standing there? Can you see that? Uh, I was jumping, I was jumping. Okay. I'm standing now. I don't think I can see, I can see you. <laughs> what does B look like? So, B has... I think this is used as, like, a jump spot. So they have to cross. So... I mean, you basically have to play there unless you want to just give them the site. So... I guess 2, 2, 1? It just seems so risky to try to, like, peek this... Like, or peek or push this mid-connector from mid just because like t's could be lower right or people could swing you from down there or behind you or so i'm not really sure this seems this seems also really hard for cts especially a because you can't really do anything i mean like the most you can do is like i guess toss a smoke here but that only does so much okay so yeah it's a it's a game on a site where you don't even want to let Want to uh, push them to let them come to you? Oh, yeah, I just don't even. Covered. Yeah, I'd... like I just don't see a reason that you would actually try to fight them. But that would also mean like you can't really stop them once they get up here because like you just toss a smoke here and then you know they just wait until it's gone and then like I don't know. It just I'm just not sure. You can't exactly push it because T's get the upper hand and waiting for uh, punching CT so you try to push in mid. So your other options are. So it could be again. Is it just one entrance? Two entrances? What is this? We go up the staircase. I can jump over to this other staircase. And there's a right route and then a left route where the bomb site is. Which is. This. So they get a pretty easy, they get a really easy plan. The problem is they can't actually go anywhere, so that's kind of interesting. So if they try to do the fast plan, they have to kind of like stick to where the CT buildings are. Also, do you think it means that you can't really play, if you only have one CT here, you have to play here and watch this cross. Yeah. Um... I do like the fast plan ability right there. This reward options right there. Hey, so I don't know. That's a big question mark. And then mid, A and B, A and mid both seem limited to what CT options are really. Sure, you can see this crossover thing right here, but T's get so much, so many options to move up before they're actually at the site. You just flow right through mid, B right here. Then they can take the beacon, for example. They're out. Right next to the CT. It's tough to see. Mm -hmm. You can get on these. That's fun. That is fun. Wait, does that mean it has a CT? Oh, CT can get here. Okay. <laughs> that, that's mega risky though, because you could just so easily get shot from like. Yeah, as, you're, as you're jumping, yeah, it'll be noticeable at the first one. That is cool, though, but uh, I don't know how useful that would actually be. Oh, those are breakable. These are breakable. <laughs> okay, so that does mean that this opens this angle here for you to... Headshot. So, are those breakable, too? Yeah, they are. Okay. Which just makes it even harder to hold. Alright, I don't have anything else to say.
All right, we've got uh five more maps. Five more maps. Gaming. All right. Paint radar. It's a good looking paint radar. All right, next map is Trevor by uh Kil Kilowami, I think is what it is. Who's Trevor? Oh, Trevor. Trevor. Finally, vehicles with wheels. Fun fact, this map's name is Robert Backwards. It is a fun fact. <laughs> okay, so... A little underpass here, got the bridge on top. Two different bridges, I guess. Where did Cheese come from? That's a... Oh, this is A side is fast. Can you look over these little things right here too? The A side's actually kind of over this corner, so like this is completely like side routes, I guess you could call it. Oh. Oh. What are you doing down there? <laughs> okay, wait, which ones are CTs? CTs That's are funny. over here. What is that timing like to A? It yeah, seems so T's fast for T's. T's absolutely get this, this side path right here. T's absolutely get control of this, from the looks of it. And so, like, right, maybe right here. Oh, but you probably want to be on top instead of bottom. Just for just for first glance, this almost seems mega unfavorable for CTs. Like, they might get here, like, a half a second first, but I don't know how much time they'd actually have to set up. Like, I think I'd have to they play almost it. lose this. Uh, you want to test this time, because you already did it. I, I didn't test the timings. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, what's the kill? You want to go test the timings for us? Be my guess. Okay. I don't. I don't. I don't personally need to test the timings, but that's just what it seems uh, like. It actually might be fine because you have to. Because you have to run around the site. Uh, do both on. Do both. Just go to the bridge on the left side of A. Do both on underground while I look for the rest of this map. Okay. Let's look at. It. Yeah. It, oh. This is a quite darkly lit. You say it seems interesting though. It's like um, you go into like the train track almost from behind, and then you run up onto site. It does look very um, compact though. Is this an entrance? Okay, this just wraps around. So. Okay, so you definitely probably want to play two CTs on A. Um, I think you can do mid with one. Yeah, that seems doable to play one CT mid and then two B, I guess? Seems reasonable to me, uh, just because they can come around either side of the train. Yeah, I guess I do two on two. Seems pretty straightforward to do that on this map. I guess let's get for them. Yeah, I can see just one mid right here. Even though it's a very narrow path, you can probably push up and access one of the cons. Like the closest eight cons, of, you need a boost for that. B's the more favorable one, but CT's already get to B. So you can probably just have a guy sitting on con here. So two B, one play this con, one mid, and then you'll definitely need two A. Yeah, timing seemed a bit whack. I have to test for sure, but uh, I'm curious. Uh... Because it's like you run around a site and then you go into it, which seems interesting. It does also make it seem like it would potentially be really hard to retake. Because, um, like, I mean, you can't come through here. Like, this is just for shooting people, right? That's all it looks like here. So then to actually retake, you'd have to come through here or flank i guess which it doesn't look too hard to flank compared to some other maps this looks it actually looks a lot more viable to come this way compared to some other maps so maybe that's maybe that's okay i think um 
I think for a lot of this, though, I'd have to play because I think there's a lot of different parts of this map that in my head could easily go either way as to how they actually work, um, particularly around the timings and which angles people actually go to, particularly like B. Like it would be, it looks like it would be relatively easy to just go in front of the train, but you do have to cross an angle, so I don't really know. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know. I guess the potential biggest concern is you can't really smoke B. Can you go through this? Yeah, you can. Okay, so you can't really smoke B. You try to go uh, right. I mean... The best you can do is this, I guess, but then people can still run around the back, so... I guess I, that is one concern I have, is eh, you can't really smoke B off. Um... There's a secret yeah, I don't back know. here. Maybe you can just do a jump throw timing. I don't know. If you're a kid out there and it's not like me. But yeah, I don't have much feedback else for else for the map. I don't have much to say without playing it because there's a lot of stuff that's question marks for me. Yeah. Alright. Let's move on. Um <sighs> Uh, host the one and only. Okay. All right, this next map is by uh, Valley. Oh, whoops, sorry. Oh, uh, not again. Map crashed. Not <laughs> map crashed. Server crashed. Server crashed. Server died. I, re I will restart it. So now we gotta wait. I like the map. Right out of the map. I like the one bomb site. A, I think. I think it was, but just the timings were really strange there. Um. PC pretty standard, and then mid was pretty uh, standard as well. Let's take a break to thank our sponsor, NordVPN. Oh god. Base? Still not sponsored by NordVPN. The best way to hide your data. Who is data? Can I just hide him in the closet? Right now, how many more we got? Six. Let's see. All right, server's up. Map is Unity by Peak. Unity by Peak. My favorite. Unity by these nuts. Looks like post game. Right, so I'm just gonna come out right out and say this map blows. Me. Um. Okay, so I have played this map. Chief, have you played this map? I've not played this map. I've not okay, played. So I will map. let you talk. I have played only a previous version of that shit. Here I am standing on gas. Now I will advance. Alright. I'll head over to A for arches. I think I just missed a route. Nope, I have to go back. Oh, that's strange. I have to do like a 180. Okay, I have to come out here and do a 180 to get to site. That's interesting. So I'm guessing T route is. Okay, no adventure for me. Perhaps I want to start as T and see what it is. We've got something here. I'm guessing this will be the first show point. CTs wrap around yeah, they, here, yeah. Either that or SCT would be here or usually up there or right there. Okay. Yeah. Or right here. Play the lower, put the entrance. Right. 
They have a lot of fallback if that's the first initial choke point, because they can go all the way back to bomb site and they already have plenty of other options. I mean, they have a lot of options on A. The aggressive or definitely a lot of passive options, I'd say. Uh, find B. Let's get back to CT spawn. All right, heading over to this piece, this one. Oh, for already. How about that? Okay, quite an interesting area. I like this. Where's this? Going? Okay, guys, staircase. Okay, so that street sign I saw is just a completely like off the side uh, route we got going on. Okay, so this, I guess you call this like a flank route or an alternate B, I'm not too sure. I call it mid. You call it mid over here, even though it's not in the middle? Yeah, this is the mid because it connects to B in A. Yeah, this it attacks like nukes outside, basically. Alright. Let's see, it's he's about to be here. It's like a, alright, they got squeaky they can use. They have to worry about that little streak is there. They got here. And then it means a little bit just to... Otherwise, it drop down here. And then they can also focus. CT wise, they have a little bit of cover on the bottom site. Got this little entrance up here. How far do CTs. How far, I wonder, can they push this? Uh, anywhere on B, so like B main I'd down like, here yeah. or squeaky. Is there some areas for both of them to utilize? Like, got a few cover pieces. Scan that. Maybe you can go around here, throw some maves in. T2 has an option to counter that even. Straight's the interesting one. Having a path completely off to the side is kind of interesting. I can. I think it's supposed to be like nuke, where like your outside is kind of like your mid. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And that just kind of right into B, so there's no like long line to get your route. Okay. And between that. That's pretty interesting. So you got the. got a, quite a few options for B. A is the question mark. Because your initial, yeah, this is the big question, because while the initial checkpoint points out here, you do have the option of going through CT, which I think is really interesting. And then you have all sorts of options. You can go through the street route to plank, you can go through the B to plank. So while you have all these fallback options as a CT on A site, the question is, do you even do that? Because if you're not aggressive right here, T simply get all these options by going through, through a CT route here. So this encounter right here, I think, is the biggest question of the map. I think I'll... A lot of games are probably decided on how this works right here. So maybe if you have even two on A, do you have both, both of them push up here? Or yeah, maybe just like one person down here trying to play CT, trying to rotate in between, by like this angle back here. I wonder how you would do that. And then yeah, I'd say probably just two, two A, trying to play that, so then you got three on B, so one covering somewhere on the bomb side, cover mains, one covering squeaky, then perhaps someone on the streets covering this side right here. Because again, you also you could also allow the flank if you give up street. So it's really interesting so, how that works. Yeah, how how we played it in the playtest, the the actual structure of the map isn't that different from what I played it, so I think this still applies. Um yeah, two people would play the main A route, they would like either play close or like play far. Um I don't think we often fell back just because it's this is pretty trivial to hold, to be honest, um, just because, like, there's so much utility that you can use here, um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but this is just, like, really not that hard for CTs to hold. Yeah, there's just it's just so easy to use utility here. Um, it wasn't that hard, and then I really think you also have the favorable, like, spots to sit in, because, like, these are pretty good. Um, so it was pretty trivial to hold, but it is possible to fall back. Um, then we would... I believe we had two people B, usually one watching the lower and one one focusing on like squeaky. Um and then we had one person play the outside street route um here. So in my experience, I think I like this outside this outside street route. I think it works pretty well. 
Um, I think the biggest issue that I had was some of the pathing, especially like this B upper thing going on here is seems a bit almost redundant, at least like it seems like there didn't need to be stacked levels here, in my opinion. Like it seems weird that CT start down here. Like I almost feel like they should have just started up here or like, um, so that, because then that way you could like just simplify the routing here a lot more. Um, and like you wouldn't really need stacked levels as much, which I think that would that would have worked a lot better. And I also wasn't I also didn't think so. Like while the A long was pretty trivial to hold, it wasn't the most interesting. I feel like because like you're just kind of holding this. It doesn't really mean anything if they take it. Like all it does is gives them a back rotation into B, which isn't that hard to really even hold from B because you could just hide behind the van or something. So I don't know. It was okay. Um, it was whatever though. I think the bigger issue was if you fell back to A, it was so easy to get flanked because there were so many places the T's could like try to enter from. So I think it being more one leveled would have helped a lot. Um, like just, just clean up the flow a lot, but I don't know. I'd have to replay it again. Cause I only did play it once. So my experience could be different with different people. Definitely one of the more unique ones we've seen recently, but yeah, I think it has its quirks and ways of play. Alright. I don't have too much else to do. Alright, you ready? Yep. Alright. Okay, next map is Washing Power Washing Powder Plant by Leratus or Leratus. I don't know. Plants where we wash powder. Okay, our exec post game, RSV cheats one. Alright, alright, alright. So this is T spawn. And got a little upper area to hide on. A lot of different raised elevations seems pretty interesting. Although this feels very awkward to plan, I can already tell, because you got that to deal with. Oh wow. You're exposed from a lot. This is <laughs> the bomb site is the least covered part of the the area. Oh god. My eyes. Is this what is going on with this water? You can see the side of it. <laughs> well, how would you actually play this? I guess... I'm supposed to... Somebody in chat says the water is acid and you take damage from it. Okay. So I guess you're supposed to play from up here? It seems really hard to play though, because you have two separate entrances, and I guess almost three to be honest. Well, that one goes to B though. So you would have to hold that, or else they Never could just mind. walk into B. It is normal water. Okay. The chat is lying to me, I'm sorry. Alright. What is this? Trigger here is this bomb reset? Oh, maybe. Well, okay. Probably because I was floating. I don't know. Anyway, um, so B seems a little bit crowded. Like, I need to turn off the trigger. Um, B seems like like everything is in close proximity. It seems like I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to play it. Like, almost like um. Like, there would be no set way to play it just because, like, everything is in such close proximity, it doesn't really allow plans, I guess. <laughs> Things just kind of happen. Um, that's what I'm getting from looking at it, at least. Um, yeah, and A is seems weirdly open, like, um, 
how the bomb site is the most exposed part of the map, and there's not really any cover to plant. Like, the most you can do is, I guess, here, but you're still exposed to, like, two different angles, no matter yeah, where you I, plant it. It would have to be, you would have to clear the entire site and the area around it. In I don't smoke, think and then... There's no fast for this. No, not at all. I think B would honestly probably end up being similar in a different way, just because it's so close proximity, it, you just reasonably can't clear everything without probably at least sustaining a couple losses. Um, so, yeah. I'm not really sure what to um, say about it. Um, and mid also looks pretty hard to hold, just because of there's just two completely separated angles to watch. Like... Um, like I, I like like for B, I don't even know how you would play it really. Just I guess like two, because they can wrap around and you can't really smoke. But they could also easily come from mid here and just take that guy out. So yeah, I'm not really sure how you would play it. I can't really figure that out because A is also a huge mystery to me. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a lot of different angles and things to worry about for. Bomb sites uh, don't seem complicated on their own. Oh wait, own. this is CT? Yeah, that's CT. Oh my god, I'm a moron. Oh, I've been thinking that C spawn the entire time. No, I was thinking that CTs had the window. Ah. Uh... Yeah, so T's get up here, CT's have down there, those two angles. And then if you come in. Yeah, from... I'm not sure if that really changes much though. It does. It would probably be hard to kill T's because they have a huge headshot angle up there. Um, so that seems like that would be not ideal. But I'm not really sure what else to say on top of that because I would have to play it. Um, a lot of question marks there. So I have no idea what else to say. B seems very much an enclosed area with a lot of angles to clear. A wall. It's a bit more. That's a bit bigger. You still have a lot of the high variations and cover to. Combined with trying to clear that entire area out, so both of them have their issues in that regard. And then mid obviously has the uh, very extreme kind of angles to worry about, with the down low and the above. It's a bit conf it's not confusing, but I'd say it's a bit complicated for each site for trying to clear and take. That is all. All right. Next map is our second to last map. Um, oops, workshop map. All right. Um, next up is Wet by Seven Arc. Wet by Seven Arc. And just like last time, I'll say after uh, we're done with the final map, I'll say around and answer any questions anyone has. Otherwise, we can obviously answer them in SE or in private messages. Moist. 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 All right. So this map has abominations of brushwork on it. Uh, <laughs> I can already start to sell. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Wait, I left it. Wait, they're back here? Okay. It's, it's under me. I got a very large, uh, bit yeah, of it is very large. So it looks like T's can either go up here or go through main. Okay, so a CT a CT can be back here. CT can be here. CT could be here. There's a lot of places CTs can be. Okay. So not counting mid, there's there's almost three entrances. It's it's like two and a half almost, just because of you have this jump up in this lower part. Um, so I mean, as a baseline, say you put two CTs there. Okay, mid is interesting. Um, I like this like covered part on the inside. Um, oh, can you get on top of it too? Yeah, you can. Okay. Oh, then you can just see into B site. 
Awesome, this is the fifth round. Okay. Oh, so A has two you... of these rounds. Okay, so you that, okay, so this is a one way from mid, so Wow, that almost seems like that favors T's isn't it, from my first look at it. Okay, so it seems like it would be hard to hold mid. It's like I'm not sure where you would play from. Like, because if you're lower, I mean, you have to watch this, but then they could get above you. And if you're here, they could sneak on the inside and flank you. Huh, I wonder where you're supposed to hold it from, because I feel like playing from here would just make it so easy to get flanked. And then you also couldn't really watch the mid-connector either. Huh. So you have one person guarding this outside route, you have one person on this mid. 2A, where would you put that 5 CT? Would you maybe just have two? Oh, I don't know where the mid player. I don't know what the mid player does. Like, where where would you play is from mid? Well, you don't want people coming into this like crossing right right here because you have other people trying to split A. You don't want like the third person looking yeah. throughout this entire thing. So you'd probably have someone trying to prevent yeah. that. So maybe you have two CTs playing this mid area. So one guard that there, and one maybe a closer range right here. Something like rifles or so, RPGs coming here. So where would you put the one CT? Just on B, just holding this B angled. So one would just be this complete outside route. He'd be isolated just to prevent blinks. Maybe he'd be like a bit more passive. Okay. They have to come all the way so out then, here. So like right so here. then you're saying a two, two, one probably. So I'm thinking one for the outside, two for the mid, two for the A. And this map does seem quite wide, I guess. I think CTs are stretch a little thin, but you definitely need that two in the mid area. It so. does look like rotation times are relatively short though. Although they can't really rotate through mid from A, so that might. So retakes on B. I wonder how retakes on B go. Where is this actual bomb site? Right here. It's there. Is it up or two? No, it's okay. It's only lower. Huh. But that is, retakes on B seem really interesting though. But hmm. yeah, I feel like I really have to play this just because like I'm so curious what actually happens. But my first like. Looking at it, it seems really hard for CT, but the rotation time does doesn't seem that big. So, I'm curious what actually happens. You got the same thing for T's. Then I'll commit to this bridge. I have to go all the way around. Jump down here. Take try this route. Otherwise, then may not. Oh man, if they don't commit to A, you have to come up this area right here. Come all the way back through here. Go through the house. I say boost, otherwise then they have to go up here. Yeah, that does look like... Uh, so it looks like... So what it looks like is T's get... It's a bit easier for them to get into the sites, but the rotations are longer, but harder for CTs to hold, but the rotations are shorter, maybe? So it's easier. It's a bit easier to fill, maybe, just because you can more easily rotate and fill. I don't know. I have to play it because... I'm curious how that works. It's one of the uh, stranger maps, I guess I could say. Um, I don't know about strange. It's more like I'm more, more like I have kind of no idea what would happen when I play it. Um, and it also might be a map where like it changes a lot because um, there's probably multiple ways to play it. Like it this is what it looks like for for T's especially. Um, looks like they could do a lot of different things. Yeah, um, T's I guess, yeah. So you can so, boost from CT spawn and watch this. Yeah, but then I that is true. But then you'd like be using both of the CTs, and I feel like they could really easily get into sight. But I don't know. I'd I'd really have to play it because I think there's multiple ways it could go. I agree, definitely for C for T's and anyway, yeah. I feel like it's still a little wide, but I feel like every route has a purpose, even if it does seem on the bigger scale. But I definitely have to play test it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Last play test, it was CT sided for rounds. CT, they said it was CT sided? CT sided, yeah. I wonder why that was. Maybe because it's a bit hard to use utility as T? I don't know. We'd have to try. Man, imagine having a bot in your Twitch chat and they try to post a hyperlink. Oh, wait, I'd block those. Yeah, fuck. Based? So, yeah. I'll definitely have to play that one to see what happens because it's a bit hard to tell. I do like the, uh. The. I don't know what I'm trying to say here, though. Seven Arc only does water park maps. This is definitely a Seven Arc map. Alright. 
Let's get to the last map now. This last map is Zest by uh, Mike. Zest by Mike. And this is again literally a Valorant map. Oh, Li God. yeah, Mike. Mike works at Riot on Valorant. So oh. this is literally a Valorant map. Oh God, the sky is blue. All right. And there is one thing to note. Um, there are props here. <gasps> Mike, how could you? Like a non-negligible amount of props. So I don't know if we'll actually end up playtesting it, because there are props, but uh, we'll see. We'll get to look at it for now, though. Alright. Shot the A-site. Throw a few nades over there, that's interesting. Alright, got a little statue base around here to play through that. T's come from here. What do they have? You can choose to commit to this right side. Otherwise, go left. Okay, that's pretty simple to understand. I'm guessing the connector is it's this. What about over here? Ah, oh, that's interesting. So connector is actually like two different choices. They get this like upper balcony, quite dark, or this little ramp, which is more favorable for T's honestly, because what they probably do is just probably just smoke this and just head over to this connector. So the CTs play uh, far up. TC can obviously get into mid here. How's mid look? Art store. It's a nice art store. Wait, do TC just get this for free? I mean, I guess this is the engagement at mid? Unless it's over here. There's like a, like a double mid thing going yeah, on here, right? Yeah, so... we got a left mid and a right mid. That's tough, because they're both... Yeah, cons are on each side, so... That's tough to say. So where does the A player... The A player holds this, I guess? And they, or they hold oh. close? We have a destructible window you can look... You can see through, but not go through. So... I guess you could have... That's interesting. Could fe you could feasibly have... I mean, I guess that's instead the way of, you can hold it, 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 it. Instead of playing top mid, you could also play connectors um, instead of playing top mid. So then you could also have easy rotates the site, which look like it could you could definitely change up how you play it pretty easily just because um, there's multiple like multiple obvious ways to do it. That's so interesting. You could have a guy at Econ playing this like, between connectors or the opposite of an Econ guy. Yeah, I don't. There. Curious how well that would actually work. Not sure, but actually, it prevent a uh, one. It would help from one CT trying to cover two routes at the same time because T can easily just run through. They don't have much time to kind of counter that. So you probably have one CT player playing either of the connectors while they also can stay close to one of their bomb sites. I would be curious. I'm curious how that would play out. Yeah, I'm curious too. Oh, make me angry, Mike. Props on your back. Alright. B side. Got a tall tower to blow up. And I think there. you would definitely need two people here. I don't I don't know how you could hold this with only one. I'm guessing the timing works out to where you can't rush up here, but even if you could, it's so easy to just get flashed. He's advanced through here. Yeah, assuming C yeah, C Dates have a camera shot. So T should have two quite long of an angle. Two quite long angles. But obviously utility would be good here. So they don't get sprayed down. That's right here. Just a fast plant. They could fast plant right here. That's interesting. That is really interesting. If you have two T's that could both flash or smoke kind of both these areas right time at the same time, it could do a quick plant along this side of the uh, tower, which makes me mm -hmm. wonder. CTs probably can't play it that safe. I mean, they could obviously have the longer angles, but I think T's will figure out very quickly that you would need utility to kind of take the site and get that best plan in, which makes you think CTs are probably. You don't want three on. Okay, I would probably, yeah, I'd do 2A, 
I'd probably have one CC covering a long range weapon with this sprout right here. And then this guy would probably be in charge of just any advancement on the bomb sites, but also covering this closer range, because he also has this, he has this balcony right here too, which can kind of cover this route right here. And then we get to the bomb site, they can drop down here or spray from up there. So the best options that CT probably has is this connector for the for the B bomb site. Probably. Yeah, it does look like there's, there's a lot of different ways you can play it. Cause I, I can think of like different ways of holding mid and stuff. Fire. I don't think in general I have much to say about it because I think there's a lot of different ways I could play. Yeah, mid is a question mark. B seems a little complicated, but I think there's some counters there. Then it's pretty alright. Seems pretty simple how that works. All right, that's all I gotta say. That's all I have. And that was our last map, Epic. correct? Yeah, that was the last map. All right. Uh, I want to thank you guys for first off Twitch chat for coming out, and watching either your own maps or just staying with the stream and just watching the entire time. Uh, big thank you to you, Squidski, for helping out switching through the maps and helping me through commentating this because. I would not be able to do 84 on my own, because good god. That'd be too much. I'd have to bring it to like four days of streams in order to handle that. Uh, thank you, Kale, for also coming along the entire time. Thank you, Clicks, for joining us today. Thank you, Slimic, for always being there in Texas speech form. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And already, I'll answer quickly a few probably commonly asked questions that still some people might not know. We will be starting play tests this uh, week following tomorrow. Days and times are not to be certain, and we're still trying to figure out who's going to be playtesters for those. For how long that's going to take, we don't know. It's probably going to be over a week, probably a few more than that even. I'm not too sure, because we have a lot of maps to test. There's only a few that we can probably filter around that we're saying, like, okay, they're, like, first map quality, and we know how they're very simple, like, we know how they're going to play out very easily. So we're trying to get playtesters, we're trying to get, we're trying to organize what maps are going to be played, how, how much we're going to play them. And obviously organizing all the judges, scoring them and everything. That's obviously going to take a, quite a lot of time. Uh, other commonly qu asked questions. VODs obviously will be available after the stream ends. I have the first VOD downloaded and timestamped. I just need to press it to get it up to YouTube. I'll be doing the same thing today or tomorrow for the second VOD. Uh, any, any feedback you want privately, obviously we can answer you those. And if you ask any of the judges for that. Obviously, we'll probably have better feedback to give you once the actual playtesting happens. So you might just want to wait on that. Um, if you have anything else to say, I'll keep the stream running for just a little bit here. But again, thank you, Squitsky, Kale, Clicks, Slimic, for being a huge help today and yesterday. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 Yeah. Where the feed the stream will be up shortly. It's true. Were any oh, of the maps the disqualified? Um, we had one that was completely black textured, so that I would say yeah. Uh, there's another map that had their cheese spawns in the floor, which means you couldn't use them. So you could technically consider that a disqualification, or just a map that we. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm not sure where the line will be between disqualification and more like we just won't play test it. So we're not really sure because I don't think there there will like there's not going to really be much of a difference between disqualified and not play tested for the most part um so yeah when will uh, the this map was available? called zest thank you for spending this time best, yeah. thank you for watching Valor map and zest that's going to be available immediately after we finish the stream on twitch uh the one on youtube is probably going to take a day if i can compress it that takes forever And just reiterate, the first stream that VOD's already up, that went through, started at the very first one, which is like 2015 Whaleman or something, that went all the way to Hollow. And then today we started on somewhere in the H category, and then all the way through the rest of them. We started with J, J. today. Okay. So yeah. Covered all the maps, all 84 submissions in two days. We'll obviously be playtesting a ton of them over the coming weeks. And hopefully within... Not too long, we can get you guys the uh, results, and we'll tell you who won, and all that good stuff. And we can start our 27th Wingman Contest. Yay! 
But I just want to reiterate one last time that this was not, I mean, this was a contest that, I mean, obviously there's prizes, that's why we, I mean, no one's going to play the contest if we don't put prizes on them, but this was really just an incentive to kind of just make a layout and force you to make a layout and kind of play test it, get it refined, and hopefully that after the contest is over, no matter what place you got, no matter how you got scored, that you finish it or do something with it. Because we're trying to incentivize new maps to be made and fully completed, not just gray box. So hopefully within the time that this contest took place, you felt, I don't know, good that you were able to develop a map, and hopefully you took it even further than that. Because this was a, this was a ton of fun. Even if my brain did turn off a little bit, looking at 84 gray boxes does that to you a bit. Hopefully after the playtest, everything's set, everything's settled over. I'd like to come back in the future and see a lot of these maps being developed even further. A lot of them were quite the joy to play. Epic. I'll leave the stream open for one more minute. Any final questions or comments, leave them down below. Otherwise, we'll be ending the stream in a minute, and the bot will be up right after. Goodbye. Goodbye, son. 27. There's actually not been 27 wingman contests. We've only done two. When will the playtest be? Uh, tomorrow, starting tomorrow. Yeah. We're still getting testers for that, too, so... If you want to be a tester for the maps, just make sure you're not one of the uh, people who submitted a map to the contest, and just DM me or Squidski or leave a comment in SC, and we'll get you sorted out there. Next week's lottery numbers. Uh, Slimic, can you tell me next week's lottery numbers? How many numbers? How many numbers are usually in the lottery? Uh, what, like six or five? Like six, five or six. Yeah. Yeah. Seven, according to chat. Four, nine, fifteen, twenty, seven, thirty-five, sixty-nine. There you go. All right, you heard it here first. He's never been wrong. All the times I've heard him announce lottery numbers, he's never been wrong. Yeah, because he's never done it before. <laughs> all right. I think we're good here, everyone. Thank you all for coming out. Thank you all for watching. It means a lot to see how many people were interested in this contest. I did not think we'd get 84 submissions. Even I know like the wingman contest got like what 92 or something. So seeing this many people interested in the contest, even if it's just simple as a great box, but seeing so many people active in the community means a lot. So thank you all for coming out. Thank you all for submitting a map. Thank you to just everyone for participating. No further questions. This will be the end of the stream. Ask on SC or privately one of the judges or any of us if you have any questions. Thanks again, everyone, and we'll be talking to you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.